All right, all right, all right. It is Simulf here. Welcome back to the Long Dark, where I will continue my interlop run from day 404. Getting closer to the day 500, and I think today we'll be making a good push towards it with a lot of fishing. Fishing and uh, swooshing by days in, uh, in Coastal Highway. So let's uh, let's sort in. Actually, almost 4:05 now that I look at the day. But uh, let's uh, let's go and return. Surrounded by snow and nothing to drink. Where we were. Where we were, and uh, the sun is coming up, which is good. And uh, I think we were in the misanthropes house. There's a Trump's house in, um, bow, bow, in the Coastal bow, Highway. Bow, bow, yes. Good afternoon. Hey, yes, uh, and thank you so much, Jeff, for the 12 months resolve. Good afternoon for you. Good uh, morning for me. It's uh, 10 a.m. Hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful start for the week. He redacts. How are you doing? It is totally, totally dark. Uh, might be easier for me to actually just pass, pass the old time here so that uh, day gets a little bit brighter. Just fired up TLD, nice. That uh, drop that uh, drop that small piece here and uh, see what kind of weather do we have outside. Do we take the walk now or do we uh, do we wait? Hey, double fubba. What crazy Monday madness is this? This is my last day of my short vacation. So daytime Monday. Okay, it is. Uh, it is a blizzard here, so we will not be walking, walking anywhere right now. Um, yeah, let's just uh, let's just go back in. Let's just go back in and um, breaking this would take a little while, but it would give me things. Okay, my uh, my dishwasher is finishing up there. If you hear a little bit of rumble, yeah, 96 days to go for the 500, and uh, I I just checked. This run has been going on for over 230 hours, and uh, going on since last July. End of July 2020, the last day of July 2020, and it is now 17th of May, so we have been at this for uh, nine and a half months in calendar time, because I've been playing this uh, only once a week. Right now, right now I'm playing uh, kind of more or less every stream of this, so that's uh, that's uh, just, just getting too close to the 500 to uh, play once a week, and I don't want to go for this a... This pack is getting too heavy to carry. Don't want to go for a full calendar year, as far as like uh, how long this run goes. So uh, making a little bit of push for it, and uh, I think today will be a good day for that because we have been preparing, preparing to. Uh, wait a minute, there's two bear hides here. Huh? I think I actually had that in my notes. I have been preparing with a lot of firewood to uh, have a nice fishing season. In um, in coastal highway, so uh, hopefully getting uh, at least fifteen, if not twenty days today. But uh, but if not, like in the long dark, one thing I have learned: like if uh, you can have like uh, 
like an idea or a plan, but uh, if things don't go exactly that way, then uh, that's fine. Just getting under 55 kilos, which means I can I can sprint if needed. 10 kilos or 9.99 over over the waiting limits or below that, and in a sprint if needed. Um, this kind of a foggy foggy weather is not my favorite. I'm not going to be able to carry this load for much longer. Not my favorite, but. Um, Probably go with it. The problem with this kind of weather is that uh, on the ice is very kind of safe to move when the weather is clear, but the weather like this, not so much. So you know what? I will. I will actually wait for one more. One more moment here, and uh, let's see if I can chop, chop something up. Let me break off the TV for uh, so for some uh, scrap metal. Nope. Okay. I don't want to take one of the two hour ones, but uh, but a smaller one like this. Uh, just might. Hey, onion! Now I can sprint, but uh, actually that will be fine as well because I'm moving really relatively fast. This much gear. Yeah, I know, Astrid. That's uh, I'm putting you putting you through a lot. Well, the weather seems to be. Well, I don't know. Is it clearing? Is it getting thicker? I don't know. The weather is not too bad. So I think I will take this firewood here and then go warm up inside if the weather doesn't clear. Just stepped inside. I'm so cold. I'm when um, just stepping inside when um, I was about to get cold. Firewood stuff, but on the other hand, I'm uh, kind of kind of okay with the firewood. So let's just very quickly warm up here and uh, continue checking the weather. Well, 
that is actually actually getting uh no actually it's actually clearing clearing out now. Yeah, this is good. I'm I'm okay with this. Especially because this is uh very warm right now. Here on this end of the island we should have some rabbits. Actually, be a relatively slow walk. I might drop some firewood already on the way to some of the other fishing huts. So, uh, don't have to haul absolutely everything to uh, the main base. Hallway is an interesting map because it's very, very big map, very big map, and then um, you have this very, very large ocean side here. That uh, in these foggy weathers you can't see the shore. Can't see the shore, and that's. Uh, Getting uh, stuck here in a blizzard. So, uh, potentially actually quite dangerous. This was one of the reasons why I didn't want to go in a fog so I could at least see a little bit and uh, kind of have a. had a heading towards a fishing hut. Hey, Hilke! I left these as markers here. So I quickly have a snack here. Snack here and uh, continue heading towards the fishing camp. The wolf that was howling is there on the right. Which is fine. I have before I thought you move on.
Probably not, not exactly going to move on, we will possibly hunt some deer, but I think I'll be uh, sticking with the fishing. Or maybe I will wait for uh, wait for the sun before we start the fishing so that I can get fire going with the uh, magnifying lens. not being in this uh I think this hut is nice because it has a door. Let's leave some um some of these here. here. I have not left that there on purpose because I would have pointed it towards the towards the fishing hut so let's, uh, let's do that now. I kind of heard a howl from the left, but I don't see, see a wolf. Uh, today we'll be fishing a lot, going through a lot of days. That's kind of the goal for today. All this firewood collecting I've been done, kind of preparing for this, so that I will go to the my main fishing hut. Wait for the sun, make fire, then uh, burn the burn the fire for uh, for a week and fish. Now we'll see how that goes, and then um, then I'll uh, I'll see what I do after that. my bare petrol here like permanently. Uh, the cold is making my head feel thick. Well, 
will I will I use the petrol there or will I place it there on the top? But I would think I will change this a bit. That guy who drank his own pee doesn't seem so crazy right now. Well, how about we just drink this water, Astrid? No, no bear creels right now. Stuff all over the place. No, this is uh, there's a there's a proper meat carpet being built. The torches are torches on the ice are for if there's a police head, I can find my way between the fishing huts and the and the fishing camp. Uh, all these are here because they need to be here. Cherry cans are tucked in the corner. The crowbars are there so I can break the ice. So actually quite opposite of messy if you ask me. All these are here to eat to be eaten first. Those are ruined. Okay, those are actually a little bit out of place. Come on. Come on. Get it in. Get it in. Get it in. Get it in. And it's been placed there. It's so cold. I just want to lay down for a bit. Okay, this this might have been. Okay, let's actually pick those up like this. Okay, well, that blizzard was very very timely because that uh, that kind of kind of tells me that my plan right now is actually to stay here. So we will begin. Because I also want to churn out a lot of blizzard days for the blizzard walker. We got the fire master yesterday. Thousand fires over no all my fire. all my playthroughs. Organized mess, yes, actually, that is very well said. Yeah, I think that is in the way, so I can't place the petrol up on top. And this, this fishing hut, at least. I'll place it there, but not too much on the... Yeah, it's actually the straps that are... Straps that are clipping it. Right. Yeah, is the, is the no is the normal bedroom the same? Yeah, I think when you have something on the top shelf, you can't uh, can't use the top shelf. You have to have to use this. Grimmelk was just about to start on my one-on-one -on -one Blade Runner Blade Runner Blaster. Wow. Do you do you have a do you have a kit for that? Or uh Oh man, I that that just uh That just made me so happy, Grimmelk. Hey Lelo, good morning. Blade Runner Master. If if I if I would do a model like like build a prop or something, it would be something from the Blade Runner for sure. Uh, 
my original placement with this uh, this corner here was the right goal for the water so I will uh, I will place them there I'm sure I'm caring much more. Okay, something, something in that corner is... ...venting me to put stuff in there. So let's see a little bit of a, of a check where we start. The blizzard is already going, but uh, this is the one milestone I still have to work for. Twenty percent left, so I have to have to spend uh, four days, so about hundred hours outside uh, during blizzards. And uh, right now the blizzard is going. We got uh, we got the fire master yesterday. Thousand fires over all my playthroughs. No idea how. Well, actually, do the do the stats show how many of those have been on this one? Uh, is there anything about fires? Fire start. Ooh, I actually got s almost 750 on this playthrough. Okay, that's nice. A uh, lot of blizzards, but does the blizzard time show in here? I was awake. I was indoors. Indoors. Interesting, I have spent more time indoors because I've been sleeping so much. Well, I, I, I think the cave. Cave, uh, cave interiors and the back of the caves counts as inside. Okay. Well, I wanted to see a little bit kind of where where we are with, uh, with the stats. Uh, we are 405. 405, so now we, now we kind of start. So we take that. Place our good, good fishing tackle there. And we used the bad ones. Did I ever eat this? I, did. I just left it there, sir. Kit for the Blade Runner Master, but no manual. Nice. Nice. Blizzard is, Blizzard is still ongoing. So nice. Ooh. 
it's better to be cooking for a longer time so that, that doesn't happen that you actually lose your lose your fishing line but uh, I want to do some of these cookings here first <laughs> hopefully get the images with a lot of swearing on <laughs> at this could come <laughs> yep but uh, I'm sure sure it will be great at least you'll have fun in the end Let's let's, um, let's have a long session here. Let's do four hours. Four hours to not cook anything. Sleep. Ah, uh, sleep. I mean, drink. Yes, 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 I'm loving this. This blizzard is lasting so long. This is so good. Fantastic start for the day. So good. It, it just keeps on going. Yes. Give me that blizzard sign. Nothing like a good blizzard, yes. <laughs> okay, we do need to sleep. Actually, we can, we can just sleep in one hour, one hour parts because we are in full, full condition. So we can just keep this, keep this going, fish. Then when we need, we sleep for a couple of hours, fish some more. So let's do. make you sick no no with uh, with the uh, cooking level five uh, here um, as long as um, as long as the food is cooked you uh, you never get uh, food poison all the food poisoning is there behind my camera but uh, as long as the meat or anything is cooked as long as it's not raw basically you never get food poison the, the cooking level of five is uh, is very, very, very powerful, like very powerful. And also, kind of these these meats here are actually ruined, like zero percent. But when I cook them, they become uh, fifty percent meats. Um, but uh, if I would eat that as raw, that's uh, very likely food poisoning, even with cooking level five. Um, if I would eat these meats without cooking level five, I would not only be uh, possibly having food poisoning, but uh, because it's bear meat, I could get uh, would get uh, intestinal parasites as well. So the cooking level five uh, makes you uh, able to eat more or less anything, uh, but including um, including bear and wolf meat, which uh, in the early game can give you those uh, parasites, and you don't really want to eat that stuff in the early game because of that. Kind of before the cooking level five, you have to have to be more mindful of the of uh, the condition of food you are eating. Lower the condition, the higher the chance for uh, food poisoning. But food poisoning isn't even that bad because it's. Um, Food poisoning is only only ten hours of sleep after after getting some rage tea. It's not that bad. 
but uh, parasites are 20 days on Indelopper, that's crazy. Cooking, cooking whatever I'm cooking here during the uh, in the pot, while the cooking time is faster, uh, it lasts for such a long time without getting burned because it's in a pot that I can sleep for an hour. Otherwise, it might actually burn. Uh, burn if I uh, if I slept for an hour. Have a look if there's a wolf there. Right. I enjoy all the new mechanics of the game, I played it a lot during the early days, and I missed so many things they haven't added to the game. Should start playing it myself again. I highly recommend. I uh, I played the game for the first time when it first came out in uh, late 2014, when it was like the Steam release, and uh, early, early 2015, and I, I played a little bit in between, but I kind of started about a year ago again. And uh, yeah, play start start playing again it's uh, it's amazing just uh, just a cooking mechanic compared to those early days it's uh, it's fantastic the fact that you can actually put it there and do stuff in between since, uh, since you you have played uh, you played the early versions you remember how it was uh, just clicking on uh, on the stove or the fire and then uh, you could do nothing but pass time while staring at the food and uh, having the having the teas and such warming. Well, these are showing as cold, but they actually hot. Warming here by the fire, and it's so good. And uh, kind of because of th because of this uh, these mechanics, kind of cooking cooking is one of my favorite things in this game because it's so uh, so much fun to uh, uh, cook, cook many things at once. Let's keep on keep on cooking and fishing. Come on. That's that's one thing I wish they changed because it is right now like sauna in this fishing hut and uh, that would that thing would never actually um, freeze again. So the fact that you uh, you have to keep on breaking it again it's uh, a little fun. The Dark Walker events. Nice. Yeah, there's there's, uh, there's so many. Like uh, uh, when I played in 2015, I think uh, I think there was uh, Mystery Lake, Coastal Highway, and Pleasant Valley. Pleasant Valley, and uh, that's uh, and then I. Just didn't play for uh, for a long time, and uh, by the time I started again, like last year, there were ten maps, and the and the transition zones, 
So it just has been a blast to explore these uh, regions. Blizzards. Give me blizzards all day. Give me the give me the legendary 72 hour blizzard now. I don't mind. Snow if the hypothermia wouldn't kill me. Nice. It's all also a little dangerous.
Da oben. for the whole whole 400 days just uh, going from place to place or doing something and hunting and doing something all the time this is actually quite refreshing to kind of finally do this uh, stay in one place thing okay, let's uh, do um, longer fishing Almost like the lights went out when the aurora ended, and now we got the got the snowing instead. to check if a wolf spawns there or the wolf from there like walks near here then uh, then there's a chance that they would like uh, come and check me while I'm picking up all these fish here but other than that this is uh, relatively safe It's a very small one as well.
trying to sleep since I have to work in five hours. <laughs> yeah, RJ. Thanks, uh, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for the lurk. You, uh, you, uh, you'll get some sleep. about this game it seems interesting well this game is uh this game is the long dark um i love the forest uh i have not played the forest i know a little bit about the forest but uh, I, I don't know i don't know i haven't played it so i can't really compare but uh, uh i'm currently playing the survival mode uh which is uh survival sandbox there's also a story mode with uh, five episodes planned, three of them out. And um, the story mode is quite linear, works as kind of tutorial for the survival sandbox. Um, in this one, there's really no other goal than to survive. But uh, what I like about this game the most is um, that it's, uh, it feels like, while, while the setting is supernatural, like there has been this uh, geomagnetical storm uh, there's no electricity, it is extremely cold, uh, wolves and bears are a little bit crazy and attack you on sight. Um, but it's uh, still kind of feels like, um, feels like real survival, because it is you versus nature, and it is more or less just about taking care of these four meters, four meters in the bottom left, the warmth, energy, hydration, nutrition. And... Um, while there are those wild animals, uh, it is kind of you versus nature, and um, there's no there's no real base building in this game. Um, so it kind of puts you in this. Uh, you can't you can like like never be never be safe completely. As in like now I'm set. Now I'm set and I will survive forever, basically. Because many survivor games are like that. Like you, you build your... You build your... Um, you build your cabin, you build your farm, and then you just, uh, just are there and then uh, you basically start a new game because you are bored. In this one, you never get to that, that spot that you would be like completely safe. You have to keep on going with the survival routine. Not everyone likes that, but uh, for me, it makes this game very unique, and um, interesting. After several hundreds of hours and uh, playing this run for almost a year in, in calendar time, although I've been only playing once a week. But uh, that uh, that kind of survival routine, finding. Finding firewood, finding something to eat, boiling water, rinse and repeat, is uh, gives this game very unique pace compared to any other game, survival or not, because uh, you you choose how you survive. Either you move around the maps, or like I'm doing now, because I'm kind of at the final stretch for this run, because my goal is 500 days. Um, kind of kinda in, in that final stretch I'm staying in one place which I haven't done for the whole 400 days of this run now, I, now I'm kind of choosing to stay in one place but you can choose you can, you can stay in one place kind of gather everything in there survive as long as possible in that one place or you can go around all the 10 maps uh, there's like 50 square kilometers plus uh, maps to explore in this game. This is heavy. It's just uh, it's amazing. 
But I, I would say you have to like... You have to like survival. And you have to... Well, you, you can play this game for, like, you can enjoy it probably for 200 hours, no matter what, because it's just uh, just challenging and fun. But uh, uh, to like this as much as I do, you have to like kind of a slower pace. That uh, there's, there's uh, like, the less action there is, the better you are doing in this game, basically. So uh, anyone who's like, uh, just wants action, 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 shooting, running, uh, this is, this is not the game. Yeah, as a, as a survival, the, the... This, uh, this same kind of game, same mechanics, they... They would not work if there was not this extreme cold weather this game has. That's that's what makes this game. Like the, the weather... Uh, I said earlier like you versus nature, but it's, it is almost you versus the weather. This game. And you prepare for that by having firewood, having enough energy, having, having food when the weather is good. Uh, or getting the food when the weather is good, so you have the food when the weather is bad. And uh, that that makes this very very unique. And of course, I'm I'm playing on this hardest difficulty, which is uh, which is the masochist difficulty. You have to craft your own weapons. You don't have firearms. Uh, it is it is always always cold. Uh, on the lower difficulties, there's quite a lot of loot in the world. In this one, everything is super scarce. But I, I enjoyed that challenge, so I started started playing this mode. But um, just uh, just playing this on the lowest low lower difficulties is a whole lot of fun because you have so much to explore, all all the buildings to explore and uh, gathering loot and such, and it's uh, it's amazing. And I know know several. Several streamers who have played this for thousands of hours, like 2,000, 4,000, 7,000 hours, and they are still playing, and they are still enjoying it. Of course, they are doing kind of their, their, they are putting their own spins in them, like having, um, having um, special challenges, like uh, don't don't go into the buildings, buildings at all, just stay stay outside, uh, things like that. But. Uh, that kind of shows that this game game has uh, quite a lot of uh, quite a lot in it. If you if you want to uh, if you happen to enjoy it, you can keep on going for a long time. So that uh, this was uh, started development in, I think, like 2013. Uh, Steam release was 2014 into early access, and uh, it is still in development. It has been it has been put out on more or less all platforms. PlayStation, Xbox, Switch. So there has been kind of a steady steady flow of. Uh, new players and old old players returning because the mechanics has been uh, fine-tuned since uh, it's the early days so kind of if you look at the game that okay this is a 2014 game not really this is 2021 game and uh, one of the smartest things they have done is the the art of this game or the graphic style because it's it's very unique, and uh, it a ages very well. It's ob obviously not very, not very visible now during the night, but uh, okay. I wouldn't mind a night-long blizzard right now. It would be, it would 
be fantastic. Also, for, for anyone not that familiar with this game, like this, uh, what I'm what I'm doing right now is basically reaping rewards of uh, hundreds of days of work in this game. That's I I can't just sit here. I have uh, firewood and coal there for for weeks, and I can just uh, just stay and finally finally churn out days. I'm loving this. And again, kind of uh, the the fact that you can you can choose you can choose your kind of own pace. I know you can um, you can be more aggressive with your hunts hunts and such, or you can play them very safe. Uh, you can take a little bit more risks if you uh, if you like that kind of uh, excitement more. One thing I also also need to check out every now and then is if the weather is good. Now it's not. It feels like minus 32. If the weather is good, I should go get the firewood from the shore. Even if the fire is burning. I missed you fishing. Have I done that myself? Is it easy to do? Uh, it is. It is. Uh, the basics of the fishing is that you need a fishing line. Uh, you get the fishing line by crafting a line from the guts and a hook from scrap metal. You get three hooks from three hooks from one scrap metal, and then you turn them into a fishing line with uh, uh, actually I don't yeah I don't I don't have any of those but you turn them into a fishing tackle uh, and with the fishing tackle uh, you fish from the fishing hole. Uh, what I do is that I I use the um, I use the fishing tackles for repairing because they are just like sewing kits, uh, so you can craft and repair clothes with them. I use them until they are low percentage. This is just my because it doesn't matter if the fishing tackle is three percent or one hundred percent, it breaks as easily. So I kind of take make use of them before I start using them. But after that, it's. Uh, it's really, really simple. You uh, you break the break the ice. Pry bar is the easiest, or the kind of. At some point, you just don't need the pry bars for anything else because this takes condition from whatever you use. So, for example, if you use hatchet, it's like five percent, ten percent every time you break that, and then you then you click it. How many hours? Fish. That's it. Higher fishing skill, the more likely you are to get fish, and it is more, it is more economical and better chance to catch the fish if you fish in uh, longer sessions. Uh, early on, when you have very, when you don't have, what do I have now? Fishing five, uh, fishing four. Uh, in the in the early game, when the fishing is low. Uh, you you will you would struggle a bit of keeping yourself. You you would probably keep yourself fit, but you wouldn't gather much surplus, like calories per day, unless unless you starve yourself. But uh, the problem is that you more or less always need a fire going. So that's kind of the balancing factor. Fishing itself is easy. The fishes vary from like 200 calories to almost 2000 calories depending on the fish size. But because it's gold, you you need that um, you need that fire. So that's why you just can't uh, fish 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 because you you are limited by the by the firewood you have or well, I guess if the weather is good then uh, 
like that. Why are, why are those crows there? Uh, if the weather is good, you can fish uh, in the without the fire. As I have spent uh, the last week in game ga gathering coal, gathering firewood, I can just sit here and uh, keep on um, keep on fishing. It would be fishing for just one fish at a time. Yeah, it's um, you can um, if you if you fish for four or six hours, you can easily get like I, I say at. Uh, at fishing level 4 where I am, it's average is like one fish an hour, I think. And then depending on the size, how much, how many calories you get out of that. That's it. This is also right. Right now, I, I only had one. That's one blizzard like a uh, day and a half ago. But this is also a great way to uh, get towards the blizzard walker feet because you are outside. You have a fire going. If if there's a blizzard, it's just a good thing for you. So that's. Uh, I'm basically doing two two goals here at once. Getting closer to. Getting closer to. Um, 500 and working my way towards the blizzard patch. Blizzard patch, depending what a bit on luck, that's how much how much blizzard the better I get. No, oh, stop taking the torch. <laughs> I miss clicking that. Develop hours is the maximum duration for the fire. After you always you can't uh, kind of waste it if you go over the twelve. Because I'm in full condition, I can just sleep on one hour intervals instead of uh, long sleep. If I could get the, a little bit more firewood, do this.
torch, but I don't even need torch. The sun is setting. It's gonna get a lot colder soon. soon. Even if I take a little bit of cold damage, I can easily recover it there while uh, while I'm fishing. sticks in this pile. I remember dropping one at least uh, two times 150 in that. Blizzard times. Yes, nice. Is that time? Good time. Extra chill Sunday. Did I leave Sunday in the in the title? Okay, let's let's change it to Monday. We did take a break in between. <laughs> we did take a break in between. Lucky number of months, D. Hey, Gremionis, thank you so much for the full year. 13 months. Cheers. Thank you so much, Gremionis. Hey, Fennis, I was just starting a long dark episode on YouTube and I saw you were live. Yes. The, the episode on YouTube is from, uh, is from last, uh, is from Wednesday. So we had yesterday's episode in between from the from the last part that is currently on uh, on the tubes. But we are here in the... Well, if you can call this a final stretch, in the last last hundred days. Right now I'm just churning through days in uh, fishing in Coastal Highway. We'll uh, see how far this gets me. Okay, now I'm feeling... Now I'm feeling a longer fishing session. Fifty-two percent. So I probably can uh, let's do one liter of water. Let's see how long this takes. So it was hell frozen. Took me 20 minutes to break. It's okay. Let's 
let's do two four. Come on, fish. Not the luckiest of fishing. Give me a big one. Yes! 5.5! Nice. Five point five eight. That might have been the biggest fish I've got. Yay, blizzard! Good. Oh yeah, that was good. least three hours of blizzard, which is great. We need uh, we need about twenty blizzards like this in the hundred days. We get uh, we get a blizzard a day on average. Then uh, then I would hit the blizzard blizzard walker during this run. I'm always outside. Hey, Mike, how are you doing? Good morning. And I assume, wait a minute, it's it's like the middle of the night for you, <laughs> isn't it? And like, what what time is it there? No, 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 you are no, no. I I always I I always first think that you are in Canada, but no, you are in Germany. My bad, my bad. Good morning. You should you change your name, name into a uh, Calgarian Mike in Germany. Okay, okay, okay. Let's. Actually says you cannot add if it goes over 12 hours. That's nice. That's very nice of the game. 
I also like that this uh, this fishing hut is uh, 80 degrees, so it's like a little bit of a sauna here. Feels like night is coming. Finnish sauna indeed. 80 degrees is kind of the minimum for a... Uh, and pretty typical for a uh, wood-based... Uh, wood-based sauna. Not your, not your typical ice fishing... fishing thing though. Do. We do ice fishing here, but we uh, we just uh, just sit on the ice and now. Uh and go from there. This kind of uh, fishing huts are are not really a thing. Well, I guess they are in some some tourist locations, and you have can have uh, fishing tents that you can uh, warm up. On the other hand, you don't rarely have minus 50 here. Here, like, uh, like in the game. Uh, how, the, how much the crowbar takes damage? Not much. Five in six hours. Pretty good. see what's happening in there. days from the from the goal so uh, as I keep going keep at it then uh, we can actually actually visit uh, Pleasant Valley and uh, pick up more coal from there as well
small. And another, please. Very nice. One, two, three. Three from uh, four hours. Blizzard, very good. Very good. Not so great for fish, but that was uh, that was kind of a big one. Ooh, 5.83. Can I can I see the biggest fish? Can I see the biggest fish in the stats? Not sure if you can. Not sure if I have uh, see fish caught but you don't see like biggest fish no. 5.8 something we'll probably get bigger when we uh, hit fishing level of five but uh, What ad advantage do you have from crouching? Um, not being detected by its animals. So why I have it here is that uh, just in case there would be a wolf spawning in there. And the wolf would walk in there kind of uh, possibly seeing me. Because I'm crouched, the wolf would not see me. But uh, that's, uh, that's the only... The, it's because crouching is basically sneaking, so the animals don't uh, don't see you. That's kind of a safety precaution. That uh, I do it every time I exit the building. So if there's a bear or wolf like right there when I exit the building, so I've kind of taken a habit of crouching uh, often and uh, kind of staying staying crouched if I'm not moving. Basically. Here on the inside, the the day just goes by, so I didn't pay any attention to the pay any 
any attention to the the day it changed. Let me, uh, let me check how the weather is, and I might go get some uh, get that one piece of firewood if it's fun. have a fishing hut fishing hut with a door then the then you don't even need to crouch requires light That has not happened to me in a while. But I'm okay with the blizzard. Have to leave for work, have a good stream. You have a good day at work, Lalo. Thanks for uh, thanks for stopping by and see you again. Nice long blizzard, really nice. I'm not gonna look at my blizzard, blizzard walker batch stats uh, here for a while, and we'll we'll see where we go. It started from 79 today, so uh, interesting to see uh, how far it gets uh, as we keep on fishing. I need to find a place to rest. So, uh, what, what day did we kill the bear? Okay, that's that's far in the future. Not small. Just clicked. So we killed killed uh, this bear. Right. Uh, three, eight, seven, right? Before that, the 85. So that means on 4 435, the pair will be back. That's still 20 days to go, but uh, just uh, make 
taking a mental note of that. Do the blizzards also count while being in a hut? Yes, yes. In a in a fishing hut is completely outside for all the purposes in the game. So yes. the stream yesterday is this still the same stream or did you have a sleep to yes yes i did <laughs> i actually just uh, just uh, Kremioris Kremioris noticed that uh, i did have the did have sunday on the title so i did update that that uh, i i did sleep in between yeah. and a uh, pretty good sleep as well Yesterday was pretty pretty fun day with uh, with uh, killing a uh, killing a pair with rock, having uh, having a moment with Scruffy in Desolation Point. That was pretty good. And also just having this because I've been on vacation since uh, since last Wednesday. Today is my last uh, vacation day. Just doing these uh, daytime streams feels because um, around around this time of the day when I'm starting these streams, this is uh, when I have the have uh, most energy, most energy, and I kind of feel. Uh, feel a little bit more um, tool in the game sometimes like after a work day streaming uh, streaming in the evenings while I while I like it and I kind of uh, especially with this game very much uh, relax and de-stress when I'm playing sometimes sometimes it's just a little bit um, not so um, well I, I'm never really high energy but uh, like Feel feel much more energetic like right now than I do on average evening stream. Maybe we can convince them all to do a 24 hour stream in the day 500. <laughs> no, no. But I I will be streaming the long dark uh, today. Tomorrow is the regular day. Then on Thursday, Friday again, and uh, we'll see how close to the 500 we do. But uh, basically, the long dark every. Every stream, apart from uh, Saturday, which will be chapter twice too. All right, Grey Milk, you uh, oh, you do your cooking. Okay, time to time to heat up the sauna and add some. Uh, Add some coal. Ah, okay, the stove doesn't go above 80. Ah, I was hoping for 120 there. <laughs> it doesn't, uh, doesn't heat up like the forge. Okay, 
let's have a let's have another go at that uh, firewood. Also, the firewood sticks and uh, firewood sticks and such they have a chance to respawn uh, after a blizzard. So all the all the blizzards potentially mean uh, more firewood here uh, nearby. It's a goddamn freezing. Blizzard. <laughs> I'm so happy about these blizzards. So happy. Happy blizzards. Fishing level 5! Yes, nice! So that leaves only mending. Uh, what does that do? What does that do? Average fish weight now 25% added. It was 10% before. Fishing time reduced by 30%. And only 1% chance of line break. Nice. Very, very nice. Five is the record. Can we do seven? Check the skill actually, because does the the fishing skill affects the chance of line breaking? It affects the average weight of the fish, but does it actually affect the chance to get the fish? Maybe the, the fishing time reduced. Maybe that means that you uh, you catch fish faster.
Tag is getting kind of heavy. That was very fast. Three ish. Do we get fourth? That would be one per hour. Indeed. Five. Okay, it seems that the fishing level I'm five tired. is uh, is helping me gain a whole lot more fish as well. Question, Mike. How many liters of petroleum have you gained from all this fish? A lot. A lot. Thanks for thanks for reminding me because I I should have been holding on to one of my cherry cans. Th thank you, thank you, Mike, so much. Thank you so much. Because uh, you can't you can't fill your cherry can if you're holding a cherry can. Uh, it's all. All the fuel goes into the into the cherry can before it's full. I wonder if that actually is taken from the cherry can, or from one of these. I I completely completely forgot. Completely forgot this. Thank you, thank you so much. So yeah, you get uh, you get lantern fuel from uh, from the fish. Uh, if you if you are holding on to a cherry can, it fills the cherry can. If not, you will get this uh, this uh, half liter half liter. It's in the machine is. It's actually quite uh, quite convenient, but uh, I do want to do want to fill the want to fill the cherry cans. So, to answer your question, uh, 2.85 liters of, uh, so far. And now we are starting from Yeah, for uh, for anyone tuning in, if uh, if you are new to the channel, don't 
Don't be a stranger. Feel free to ask any, any questions. Because uh, <laughs> obviously right now this is uh, this is quite uh, quite repetitive here, so I don't I don't mind chatting at all. Well, I don't I don't ever mind chatting, but uh, right now like a good moment to ask ask any questions because this is uh, while while not boring, quite uh, quite a routine work here that we are churning through. That's a good uh, lengthy blizzard, I like that. Let's not forget about this. Sure, if it actually matters if you if you keep an empty pot there, because if you if you overcook something so that it gets burned or you boil all the water away from the pots, then the pot takes damage. Let me let me test that. 85%. So if I just leave it there, I think that's fine. That doesn't uh, doesn't take any damage. the biggest one I've paid attention to, 6.34. And I assume the pot is still 85% competition. As long as you don't uh, burn whatever is in it, you can just leave it there. Deadpool, thank you so much for the raid. Welcome, Raiders. I wonder if I can drop any of this gear. Thank you for the raid. Emoro. How are you doing, Deadpool? How was your? I think you were doing the the challenge challenge run thing of a chingy. How was uh? I ch I checked your checked your stream before I uh before I tuned in. Uh, we were in like day day twenty or something. So going going pretty strong. But yes, I am um. I am on my way to the day five hundred. Uh. I've been on this run 
since uh, since last July because I played the Long Dark usually every uh, once a week. So I've been on this uh, for nine and a half months. We are now in in four four thirteen or something, and uh, I'm basically right now journeying through days fishing in Coastal Highway because I really want to hit that uh, that five hundred. Uh, I just hit fishing level five. We got Fire Master yesterday, and I'm also kind of with this working towards the Blizzard Blizzard. Um, Walker patch. So, uh... Chilling. <laughs> chilling into fishing hut today. <laughs> Probably doing something else as well, but uh, this is this is it for, uh... At least for 4.30, probably. Oh, I forgot to drop the fish. Yeah, we got, uh, got the fishing... Fishing level 5. That's good. But yeah, this is by by far my longest interloper run. Uh, started started as settler over nine months ago. Almost lost the run on day two to a bear attack that took me to two percent health. Uh, somehow somehow survived that. Still don't still not quite sure how. But uh, here we are. Here we are over four hundred days later. Still going strong. Yeah, and those uh, those who were here, if you uh, if you don't know, uh, the Deadpool, go uh, go give him a follow and uh, tune in for uh, for his uh, long dark streams. Really really nice guy, nice uh, nice streams. I'm occasionally lurking there. Another blizzard! Yes! Yeah, do, do click that link and go, uh, go give uh, Deadpool a follow and uh, check him out. And thanks once again for that uh, for the trade. Yeah, that's, uh, that's, that start of this run was just, just crazy. With <laughs> it's a bear attack. It was... Uh, yeah, I started in started in Hush River Valley. I came to came to Mountain Town, went for that bridge where the cars are in Mountain Town side. Uh, before that, I warmed up in a car, made made fire outside the car, saying to myself, "Don't step into the fire when you exit the car." Of course, I exited that side of the car where the fire was burned myself. Uh, but because of that, I I ripped my socks made myself bandages so I could bandage the burn and then uh, a moment later got attacked by a bear saved my life because I had that one extra bandage from the from the fire uh, had all the coal from between Hashua Valley and Mountain Town made fire there outside somehow the fire stayed up all night uh, so was uh, there uh, stumbling stumbling around the fire with uh, two percent health trying to recover and then uh, all of a sudden i was i was at, I was at 11 percent health and uh, we went from there still still can't believe it but yeah it was it was not a planned start for a 500 day run but uh, that's how it that's how it went For uh, for anyone new, for anyone tuning in from the from the raid, uh, I I've been streaming the long dark uh, once a week, but uh, I play a variety of games uh, every Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. I play quite a lot of uh, turn-based tactics games. Right now, we have a Jack the Lines two run going on Saturdays, and uh, I've been playing a lot of uh, XCOM on YouTube. So we'll be going into uh, the original XCOM. Uh, during the during the summer and uh, things like that, and yeah, doing doing YouTube videos for ten years, ten years, so a uh, lot of a uh, lot of videos there. It 
was it was so much fun playing through the first Jack the Lions, and now it's a uh, it's been it's been so much fun playing through the Jack the Lions too. Even that it's been the run itself has not been going that great, but it's been a blast. For a moment, I thought that was the biggest one, but no, not quite. This pack is getting kind of heavy. Mm, Six point thirteen. Take a, take a short break here, I will uh, fill my... Ooh, that's a big one. No, 6.87. That's a record. Ooh, two big ones. Yeah, I will take a short break. Short break, uh, fill my fill my water cups and... Uh, also make a little bit more coffee. More coffee here, and then, uh, then we'll continue. Continue this. So while uh, while I'm on a break, the be right back screen will play uh, random clips from the past year. So if you're new here, you can uh, you can stay tuned and watch those as well. And uh, I'll see you guys in about five minutes. All right, all right. Welcome back to the long dark. Let's uh, let's continue fishing. That one uh, one clip there reminded me of the of the sh of the close calls of this run. So uh, I was fishing in Ash Canyon, uh, Ash Canyon, and uh, I was cooking cooking the fish in the in the pot just like this. And uh, I didn't have 11 hours in the storm. And then uh, when I was uh, going to sleep, I accidentally clicked into 10 hours out of out of habit or something. And uh, luckily, I was so high on energy that I actually woke up after a couple of hours and only took like 30% damage or something. But that was uh, that could have been uh, <laughs> that could have been a way to end the run, and I would have been so pissed. But uh, luckily. Luckily I did that, but that was that was terrible. But apart from that, we've had like low calls. Well, I mentioned bear already. We had a seven percent health from uh, from one wolf attack, and then uh, getting very badly lost in a police air twice in Hashua Valley. Hey, Mr. Miss Faded, I'm doing good. I'm doing good. This is uh, it is uh, right now uh, noon. Noon for me is so a daytime stream, feeling feeling good. Just filled my cup of coffee, oh, and um, yeah, fantastic. Doing fantastic, and excited to get to the get closer to the 500 days here in the long dark. That that is great. Getting uh, getting all these achievements checked out. 
was watching a project zomboid stream a few days ago the guy lost the run of nearly three months because he took a screenshot and it all tapped his game <laughs> oh, no that's uh, that's brutal no and like uh, for example in this game like if you if you would say fall fall from ravine or something you would probably have time to alt f4 out of the game even that it's kind of cheating but uh, you would have time to do that but for example sleeping like sleeping for 10 hours and fading into the long dark you uh that would be it because this run has been going on for so long uh i I do have backups of my saves, but I would only use them like if they were corrupted or uh, corrupted or something like that. I wouldn't like. Uh, just kind of feels feels more of achievement to get the 500 days. Uh, legit, if you will. But I don't know. I've I've just enjoyed playing the long dark. It's uh, like the 500 days here is a nice nice goal that has been there as a something to aim for. But I, I've just enjoyed playing this so much. As, uh, I've said it many times, like because the game is, while there are wolves and bears and uh, scary moments, this is still a game that, above above any other game. Uh, relaxes me when I play it. Like this kind of fishing, blazing items, building meat carpets. It's just uh, it's so relaxing. If I uh, if I ever felt uh, ever felt like really really stressed, I would just probably open open the long dark and play. Although that's like games games are very much. Um, very much um, like escape for me like I I relax it's kind of uh, my meditation to play video games it makes me de-stresses me makes me makes me not to think about the real life stuff but the long dark is uh, like even like two two times more than any other game with that One of my favorite things to do in any game is collect sticks in the long dark. It is it is amazing. Collecting sticks is amazing. And I, I like, in addition to that, I like uh, placing items in the shelves or uh, on, the, on the floor or something like that. It's, uh, it's another thing. So meditative. The sun is setting. It's gonna get a lot colder soon. But that is like... Uh, uh, playing, playing the long, long dark so uh, actively during the last year. I don't know if this if this has happened to you guys, but you you know. Oh no! Oh no! I didn't want to do that. Uh, oh, I made a mess. Hey, Mozart Cactus! Thank you so much for the resub. Cheers for the three months. Oh no! I made a mess. Can I can I please get the raw ones? The raw ones. Uh, give me the raw one. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. Thank you. Good. Ah, mess cleaned. Drop stuff in the wrong. Wrong. Wrong spot. Yeah, good to have you here, Monster Cactus. Thank you so much for the reason. We have gained about 1.5 liters into the cherry can.
Oh, and thanks for the hydrate as well there. I'm not sure I can carry much more. So six point eight four, I think, was the largest fish. <laughs> drop any of this gear. I think there's still one wolf there. It's been howling every now and then. And then I'm also checking like if uh, if firewood has respawned there, and then if uh, if we have any deers around. But uh, I think all the deer signs are other, other, other side. It's actually a pretty nice screenshot there. I like that. Hey, Corther. How you do? Hmm. I made um. I usually don't, but I uh, I made some uh, instant coffee. Instant coffee, but this uh. This instant coffee I, I have is actually pretty damn good. I don't remember what it is because I, I have it in a... Uh, I don't have it in the, in the original packaging, so I don't remember what coffee this is. It's actually pretty good. I don't often visit your channel, most of the time I'm asleep at this hour. I, I actually stream at this hour usually only on... Uh, only on Saturdays, because this is daytime for me. It's uh, it's midday. Midday right now. I usually start about seven hours later than this. But yeah, good to have you good to have you here now. I'm uh Well I'm I'm usually at work during this hour, uh on a normal normal Monday, but uh short vacation here, uh, from last Wednesday. And of course what what else would you do on your vacation than play video games? So here we are. I'm 
sure I'm carrying much more. I did bake bread on the weekend, and I, I did actually, I did, did actually do some cleaning on Wednesday when I, actually on Tuesday when I, uh, kind of started my vacation. Oh, that was a big one. Feels like night is coming. I can barely walk with this much gear. Another blizzard, nice. A very quick blizzard, not nice. How how big was that? I oh, it, not uh, not quite a record still. Uh, so heavy. Man, I'll rest soon. I'm gonna faint. I love fresh baked bread. I quit eating high glycemic carbs. So right now. My health. Also, sorry, sorry about that because carbs are carbs are good. <laughs> I uh, I've been actually kind of uh, for weight loss reasons, kind of cutting cutting carbs a bit, not going like any 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 sort of keto, but uh, I've been eating less uh, less high glycemic carbs actually during the week. So then. Uh, once a uh, once a week, kind of a cheat day, eating bread, eating pizza, things like that. But yeah, I guess I guess I I have to have to show off here now that I now that I talked about it. Those who weren't here on uh, if you weren't were not here on Saturday, that was the that was the bread I made, my second ever uh, sourdough bread. So it turned out turned out really nice. But anyway, back to back to the long dark. You mean doing the same? Yeah, but I I uh, I, I let myself go like totally in twenty twenty. So I, I gained about gained about ten kilos or twelve kilos of weight. So I'm a I'm a I'm a tall guy. I'm almost two meters, two meters. But I uh, I I felt I felt so bad. Like I've I've never never been like uh, I've always been a little bit overweight. But uh, I I actually like I really felt like that uh, now now I'm now I'm so fat that I need to do something about it. So I've actually lost all the weight I gained in 2020 in um, in uh, in the four months. But it's like uh, it was actually still like less than ten percent weight uh, I gained. So it kind of uh, you have to put things in perspective because I uh, I I weighed all I weighed at like one twenty or one one twenty five. So then like uh, ten kilos of that is actually not that much. Well, it, it is like one kilo a month, but uh, but now I lost it in four months. I've uh, I felt so much better in the last like a uh, month or so. On sleeping and boiling. Back on the back on the journey. Yeah, it's uh, like uh, if I if I uh, like ideally, of course, I would have would have not gained ten kilos, so I didn't have to lose it. And uh, I, I usually like I have uh, uh, as said, I have never I have been always a little bit overweight. But uh, I've kind of maintained my weight, so I haven't been like yo-yoing with my weight. And uh, but uh, if you happen to gain weight, and if you feel like feel like unhealthy with your with your weight or fitness in general, it feels so good to get in better shape, like to actually actually be able to put uh, your old pants on again and things like that. It's uh, it's it feels so good. It feels so good. Because like like last year, last year I uh, at at some point at some point I I had this old belt. I had this old belt and I I had to do like uh, more more holes in the belt to make it tight enough. So I was uh, I had lost uh, 
kind of uh, little by little lost that much weight. But like last year, I actually had to go with that belt all the way to the other end. And uh, my old pants didn't fit anymore. And I was like, oh, this is, uh, <laughs> this is horrible. I got like uh, out of breath when I was taking trash out. I was like, jeez, this has to stop. So yeah, this, uh, this pandemic wasn't... Uh, well, well luck luckily I kind of I realized that myself and uh, started doing things things uh, for that. But the whole uh, whole staying at home thing kind of uh, stopped me stopped me on my tracks and uh, gyms being closed and all. Um, let's actually cook that now. Hey, Valdain. Late morning here and croaky. What's the weather? Further up north. Uh, today, last week was really good. We had like plus 20. Plenty, but at least this morning we had like a really big uh, rain, rainstorm here where I live. So, uh, pretty good. Although, what do I know? I'm here inside <laughs> playing the long dark. All the all the curtains closed, so maybe maybe I'm, I'm not the best person to ask about the weather. Yeah, totally, totally agree with you, Gorather. Like it's uh, like for if uh, I don't care about how person looks, if they are skinny, if they are fat, if they if they are and they feel healthy, then uh, it's it's all fine for me. And same same thing for myself. Like I don't I don't watch my weight that much, but uh, like the beginning of this year when I kind of I felt. Probably for the first time in my life, I felt really unhealthy and really out of shape. And that was kind of a good wake-up call. That's, uh, kind of I, I made myself a note, note kind of mentally, and I actually wrote it down as, as well, that I, I never want to... I never want to feel like that anymore, like I felt in, like, like January, February this year. Being, being so out of shape, feeling so... So, uh, so unhealthy with my weights. So I, I don't want to go there anymore. Yeah, I think we, we talked about, we have talked about this uh, on the stream before. Like, I think in, uh, there were some stats that, uh, in, for example, in Germany, people, people gained, uh, on average, 5 kilos last year. Which is, uh, on average, quite a lot. So yeah, I've been kind of uh, all. A lot of my friends have basically been uh, going uh, all out with their uh, with their fitness training, like running and swimming and training for tr training for triathlon and <laughs> things like that. And uh, there, there I was feeling feeling completely out of shape. But anyway, as I said, like um, I'm, I'm just happy I kind of. Uh, Realized that and uh, took uh, took action to change things. Last week we had thunder and lightning, then came a few rainy days, then sunny. I prefer the thunder. That's that's fine. We we went from like plus five to plus twenty five last week here in Finland. Like I finish finish May is the strangest strangest of months you can have anything from like zero and uh, slush outside into a uh, plus 25 heat hey mr colin we just caught a 6.63 freeze i think the record is 6.84 but that was pretty good So yeah, those those of you, if you are new here, 
I'm uh, working towards the 500 days of survival. Uh, I've been for the whole 400 days before this. I've been going around the world constantly. And uh, in the last 10, 15 days here in Coastal Highway, I've been kind of setting myself up for this. Like, just churning out days. Churning out days a lot by fishing. This also gets me closer to the Blizzard Walker patch. As we have uh, had a good chunk of blizzards. I just got the fire mastery yesterday, the thousand fires thing. Uh, of course, earlier in this run, I unlocked the cold fusion. So it's um, right now I'm kind of making a making a push to the 500. We all love this fishing hut for the late game. <laughs> yeah, this is this is the best. This is the best. Dust. Are there a harder level to play on? Um, that guy who drank his own pee doesn't seem so crazy yeah, right with, now. With custom settings, yes. Custom settings, you can you can get harder. The interloper is the hardest difficulty on the default, kind of the built-in difficulties. But there's a custom setting, so you can basically tweak them uh, however you want. But uh, this is like considered the uh, hardest difficulty because you can then. Uh, do extra challenges for yourself like many streamers are doing like they don't they don't go inside or have some other custom settings that uh, you don't have health gain or uh, other insanity like that uh yeah we are at uh, i think we have already gone to 415 because the days are going quite fast yeah 416 at the moment we started on uh, 404 today started this fit started this fishing on a 405 it actually reminds me how much fuel do we have now. Okay, 2.9. 404 in not found. I was I was thinking about should I should I make some sort of pun for the title? <laughs> title because of 404, but I was there, ah, I forget it. Let's let's just start playing the long dark. I think, uh, yeah, the Perfect Trip and uh, Once and Only have been doing those challenges and uh, the, the Deadpool raided, raided us earlier. He's been doing the same same run, I think. He was on uh, day 20-something today. So, yeah, of course, of course, like, I have uh, I have about 400 hours on this game now, from which three, almost 250 are on this run. Uh, so I, I haven't been playing this game that much. But uh, of course, if you have like thousands of hours on this, you you have to you have to make yourself your own own challenges because the game itself is kind of gets uh, gets too easy. But uh, that's one of the great things about this game that uh, it you can do that. Like this game still gives you challenge, still entertains you, still gives you fun, even that you have played it like seven thousand hours, like Kimi has. It's um, it's an amazing game. Hey there, Jim. Almost 417. I got a new stand-up disc. Feels weird to stand and type. I've, um, I had, um, I've, I've been at work having a stand-up desk since 2013, around that time. I, I remember, I remember that because I, I used to have a lot of back problems, and uh, when, uh, when we got uh, standing desk or the kind that you can change the change the altitude altitude <laughs> the height um, ever since then I have I have had zero back issues 
So basically it was always sitting at work that was causing me back issues. So I, I immediately bought, as I realized that, like after a year at work, I bought myself a standing desk as well. So uh, actually I could, uh, could raise this desk at uh, any time I want. Ooh, almost, almost a record. So yeah, I am... Um, Standing desk is amazing. Like I, I often, um, I, I did use the standing desk when I was doing my 24-hour stream um, last year. But uh, I like to stream sitting down. But often uh, after the stream, when I, uh, when I edit the videos or do the YouTube stuff or something like that, I, uh, I raise the, raise the desk up, and then, uh, especially now working at home. I do like uh, uh, at least an hour a day standing, usually after lunch. So it's very good. Yeah, Jim, it's uh, it's you are you are investing in yourself by uh, by using the standing desk. Okay, that's uh, that's a quick one. It's uh, well, depending on how how pricey you go, like it's uh, the desk is of course a little bit more expensive because of the of the motors there, but uh, it's uh, it's worth it. It's worth. It. Oh, that's danger. No, no raw fish in my in my <laughs> cooked fish pile, please. Although food poison wouldn't be wouldn't be the end of the world. Almost had a health department complain about that fish. <laughs> yeah, indeed. No meat carpets. We we have a meat carpet outside, but uh, now we are just uh, we are just churning out days now. So we have we have we are building a fish pile instead of the meat carpets. <laughs> Food poisoning and there's no loo in your cabin. <laughs> oh no. When you, when you put it like that. <laughs> oh man, well, uh, let's let let's just say that Astrid is Astrid is fine. Like she'll be she'll be fine. You don't have any fish trapped under the ice outside the hut like uh, like even Gimme. I don't know. I don't know. I have, so far I have all the fish here. But uh Sometimes things uh, can clip, clip in. So uh, I'm not sure. So far, I think everything everything has been staying. We have uh, one fish there going through the, going through the hot bits. Yeah, I think I might check the firewood. Firewood again. Why is that corner? Why is that corner blocked? That's that's what I've been doing, Grother. <laughs> Setting myself up here so I can live here for more than a month. Because I have uh, that's uh, that's about 400 sticks. That's 50 gold. 
That's one pair worth of meat. That's a lot of fish that I'm fishing right now. So, yep, the collecting all the coal here. Uh, I had a big pile of uh, reclaimed wood and firewood gathered that I used first before the coal. So, basically for the last, well, in a way for the last 400 days, but especially for the last 10 or 15 days in game, I've been just preparing for this. Just for this, so that I can uh, just churn out days. Because on average, in the 5-hour stream I've been doing, I've been uh, getting about 8 to 10 days uh, of, uh, of survival. So, what we are doing now is like way... We have already gained twice the days I usually gain in a 5 hours. So this is... Uh, this is good. Coal response. Uh, coal and all the firewood response. So uh, in, the, in, the, in the caves, transition caves, in the mines, you get coal. Uh, I believe it's like every about 25 days or so. Well, uh, it actually respawns little by little, but like the full respawn is a uh, little bit less than a month. So the firewood respawns, animals respawn, stones respawn. Uh, anything else? I think everything else. Well, if you if you consider beach common, then uh, then everything responds. But uh, but anyway. But yeah, firewood, firewood is infinite. But of course, if you want to have the fire burning in one place, you have to like collect the firewood over weeks or days and then uh, then you can have a long session like this but uh, as I said uh, every time I see a blizzard that makes me happy because that uh, puts me closer to the blizzard walker achievement 20 days outside for a blizzard we were at 80% when we started today which basically means uh, 100 hours of uh, blizzard in this uh, and uh, we would hit it. So this is uh, this is doing two things: getting me closer to 500, uh, and very much working on the on the blizzard side of things. We got the fire fire master yesterday, which uh, I was waiting. It's been a long time in the works. 750 fires on this one. Put me, put me to the. Yeah, all, all the all firewood sticks, firewood, branches, coal. The reclaimed wood, of course not, but uh, something to burn. And uh, blizzards, blizzards like we just had. The there's a chance for the chance for the firewood to respawn and uh, sticks to fall to the ground. They can appear without the blizzards, but blizzard makes it kind of uh, more likely. At least that's my that's my feeling on it. Do you have any regulations on how to deal with emails during vacation? Like, do you shut it off completely for employees on vacation? Um, I personally, we kind of in, in our company, we have, uh, if you are on vacation, you are on vacation. Of course, you are you are free to answer your phone. You are free to, uh, well, actually, like, I, I answer the phone. I don't read emails. So I... Uh, I when I when I'm off work right, weekends vacation I'm off work I'm when I when I was younger 
When I was younger, I was at work 16 hours. I slept 8 and went back to work. Even that I was at work place for 8 hours. And uh, I... I value my free time nowadays. And uh, the work will be there on the next day. It will be there on the vacation. After the vacation. And if uh, if there would be like actual emergency, someone uh, someone would call me or send a message. and sticks are life. <laughs> yes, indeed. But yeah, I, I actually, at some point, I got interrupted from my thoughts. Because uh, we were talking about collecting sticks in this game, how it's, uh, how it's amazing. Uh, when I, ever since I started playing last year, especially this interloper run, every, every time I go for walks in the forest, I, uh, I'm eye on the sticks <laughs> when I walk, and it always makes me laugh. Because I'm kind of... Uh, I'm observing my surroundings with the mindset that uh, I need to survive here <laughs> and uh, collect firewood. It's, uh, it's funny. I guess uh, that's a sign that you have played enough of the long dark to uh, go a little bit... A little bit... Uh, a little bit more like uh, feeling Astrid. Oh my god, I guess. It's a very clever spot to put the petrol. Yeah, actually, like not not being on the floor, that would be a warmer spot. Of course, it's like not the uh, most comfortable in real life. And in some of the fishing cabins, you can actually put it up there, which is completely unrealistic. But uh, that thing is blocking it on uh, this fishing hut, I think. At least I wasn't able to put it up there. Uh, what was I doing? I was sleeping. Remember when I started playing, I couldn't leave anything on the ground. Had to get everything, so wait always. Probably from my time way back, way back playing adventure games where the invent inventory was unlimited. Yeah, I uh, I struggled with my uh, carrying weights a lot as well. But uh, uh, realizing that there was a moose moose hide satchel, there was well fed bones, and especially now with the technical backpack. That has kind of removed my... I'm, I still hover about 35-40 kilos at all times. So I'm kind of... Basically carrying stuff... Just in case I need it. Mindset. But on the other hand, I love... I love placing stuff... Uh, out in the open. In the, in the hut as well. Uh, compared to storing them in the, in the containers. But yeah, in a, in, a, in a game where you do have unlimited inventory space, I uh, I never throw stuff away. I'm, I'm the kind of guy who has, at the end of the game, like 7,000 health potions. Because you never know when you might need them. <laughs> and then, then I never, never use them in the actual fights. Yeah, exactly, Jim. Exactly. Yeah, n now radio message, but yeah, yeah, just like uh, I better better have this uh, I better have this potion here for that one time situation where I what I actually need that will never come. And then hmm, should I should I sell these to get some money? No, you might need them. Keep it. Keep it. It's pretty interesting because I'm. Um, well, I, I I don't know. Well, I, I guess I guess I have a little bit of that in real life as well, but I kind of. Um, 
I'm not any kind of hoarder or such in real life, but in games I am. Like always. Always. We haven't had a wolf visitor at all. Then when you when you fight something which those potions are useful, you forget exactly, exactly. It's like you have, uh, let's say, um, uh, for example, in uh, Divinity Original Sin 2, like you have some. Uh, uh, you have some potions, let's say fire resistance, and then like, ooh, now I have fire resistance 100%. This will be useful when I, when I fight that and that. And then, then you fight, and then you fight that fight, and then you might even die or you make it through, and then, oh, right, I had these potions. Well, I will save them for the next fire based enemy. <laughs> and you forget again. I wonder if I can drop any of this gear. I miss your style of play and voice, XCOM Long War on the Horizon. Um, somewhere in the horizon, possibly. Uh, the sun is setting. After, after the long dark, like during, during this summer, uh, I'll be playing the Jacked Lions 2, but, uh, that we are playing already. But when I get through that, I will play through the original XCOM. Now that we are done with uh, War of the Chosen. But then, uh, at some point, if uh, unless uh, unless XCOM 3 comes out with a surprise in the somewhat near future, I'll I'll definitely go into a uh, into a long war as well. So basically, I will have a XCOM series going on YouTube at all times, whether or not I record it here or uh, offline. Exactly, the Chi Chimera Squad was like, hey, Chimera Squad coming out next week. And I, I, I had just started streaming uh, at the very end of March when Bannerlord was released. And uh, then in the beginning of April, hey, here's Hi Chimera Squad. I was like, what? I guess they, I guess they heard that I came, I came back from a hiatus, so they, uh, they released uh, Chimera Squad. They were just waiting. Yeah, yeah, we, we, we watched the trailer, like, we were pl I was playing Bannerlord and then someone, someone said, there's a new XCOM! Like, what?! <laughs> and it was like, it releases next week. But I, I appreciate that, like, uh, almost, like, one would argue that uh, it would probably be smart for a gaming company to build a little bit of hype for their game and kind of have it at least, like, months ahead. But uh, I, I give credit to, uh, to the developers and publishers what they did with Chimera Squad. That's, uh, we have this new game that we have not talked about at all. It's out next week. It's, uh, that's, uh, that was a bold move. And it was a great game, and it is a great game. Very different from XCOM and XCOM 2, but uh, it's, it's good. Yeah, exactly. Like, like there's a there's a balance. Balance with the too much hype and uh, and no hype. It's interesting to see. Like, uh, I don't remember the dates, but uh, like the virtual version of E3 is coming in June. It's interesting to see what uh, what will be announced. Like, there's some big expectations for uh, for certain things. Ooh, that's a, oh, not quite a record. Six six one, six eight four, still the record. I'm hoping uh, Elder Elder Scrolls Six Dragon Age news at E3. 
that and an Elden Ring. Fish some more as we do. Blizzard. I would drink almost anything about now. How about you drink that water, Astrid? Oh, hey, D-Man! Sorry I missed you there earlier. How are you? How are you, D-Man? I guess even with the smallest... Even with the smallest fish, you, uh, you have time to sleep for one hour. Fish be moldy. I just got it. Are you musical musically inclined? Um, I I wouldn't say so. As far as playing anything or or singing, no. But uh, I during during my hiatus from YouTube, I got into got into dancing, uh, like. Um, Dances like uh, like salsa and bachata, the kind of uh, Afro Afro Latin dances. So that made me actually realize that uh, I'm like there's some musicality in me, so I can I can keep a rhythm <laughs> and uh, things like that. But uh, no, not not musically inclined. <laughs> For some reason, I can see you rocking the tuba. <laughs> well, I can do like. But not not play any instruments, and I I have absolutely no um, no um, ear ear for tones. So I I don't I don't know. Well, kind of at least when it when it comes to my own own singing, I have no idea how to uh, how to sing in tune. Uh, do we need water? No. Rhythm from Dwarf Waters with, with, yeah, yeah. Ah, that's, uh, that's a good tune. I, I should probably use that, so like, if I if I want to clean up my house, I should I should put that tune through the through the stereo uh, at my home. Just quickly do some work. work, work, work. This fishing, fishing is actually working way better than I expected. I have, I have watched uh, Kimiota and others do this and uh, kind of just go go through days. But I, I didn't realize this actually, like uh, this actually gets through the days this fast because you're, you're basically just passing time, as long as you have the firewood. So I'm, 
This actually gets me gets me pretty excited about getting uh getting to the 500 days way faster than I expect. Uh, if I keep doing this to the 430 range, then uh, then I'll definitely take a break from this and go uh, go hunt the bears again. Listening to Twitch while driving back. You're always always multitasking with Twitch, D man. You go you go choking with Twitch. It's awesome. Careful, careful there in the traffic zone. Should I should I try to uh should I try to navigate you where you are going, D man? In 200 meters, turn left. In 50 meters, turn left. Turn left now. Please don't. <laughs> Actually, follow my instructions. I am full. I guess that's some sort of sign that I have been fishing. Fishing the vault quite a bit, that's I have uh, I have filled one of those. Considered listening to a stream while running. I um, I watch a lot of Twitch and YouTube videos on uh, well Twitch as well YouTube videos. Anything from my I have an Android TV, so uh, I um, I quite often just lurk on streams uh, myself, and then uh, I sometimes open the open the phone for the chat, but it's like basically impossible to chat with uh, with TV. But I have the TV, on the other hand, I have the TV and some stream open almost always when I'm at home and not doing anything anything else. So then uh, uh, I have open open kitchen, so when I'm cooking or eating or whatever, I can, uh, I see the, see, the, see the streams I'm watching. And uh, sometimes it's like I, I'm, of course, not always like actively watching, I'm all, only listening. So I can kind of totally understand why someone would just listen to a stream. But I, I haven't actually, now that I thought about it, uh, at least with my phone, like I I have to have it like actively open for it to actually keep the audio running. 
Maybe I should actually check that. I might actually listen to, listen to streams when uh, when I'm walking as well. Although I usually listen to ebooks or podcasts when I'm walking. Matter of fact, because uh, when I'm when I'm when I'm uh, staying still, unless it's uh, well, actually in a in a train or a bus or or um, plane or something, I usually read. But when I'm walking, I like to listen to uh, listen to uh, not music, but uh, someone someone talking. So I guess uh, same thing with streams. Hey, Jolly Joe, how are you doing? How are you doing? If I can drop any of this gear. That was some good fishing system. gonna go out when I know this stream notification. Well sorry to keep you inside, but thanks for thanks for coming in. Phone needs to be open for Twitch. Okay. okay. That explains it. Yeah. I wish they had a option that you could just listen to the audio. Well in, in a car it's not a problem but when uh, when when running or walking like it's uh, Oh, it's not a problem, but so kind of have to have to have it open and possibly in your hand or something. <laughs> my, my stomach started crawling at the. Same time it uh, it crawled for Astrid. Interesting. I had to check that it really is Monday today. Yeah, today I'm I still have a today Monday uh, as a vacation, so uh, that's why I'm streaming today and at this time. Fishing line actually lasted for quite a long time. to teach and book club with some young minds later. Got a lot of Mondays. Sounds good, Tim. Ooh. 
6.52. Not quite the record. I'm not sure I can carry much more. Thanks for this follow. Have you here? We will sleep next. Four twenty, four to zero. There's a there's a meme there somewhere. Okay, tired. be some construction nearby because I just heard a just heard an explosion. The kind that happens when they uh, when they uh, take some rocks out. What are you reading presently? What chat? Are we readers? I'm um I'm like um say uh six books uh six books a week week six books a year kind of reader. Uh well actually not entirely entirely true. I, I read a lot of non fiction uh quite actively, but I don't like read them from cover to cover. I like uh read various uh, non-fiction books for like inspiration like productivity things marketing things things like that but uh, last last book I read was um, last book I read was um, was actually a it's actually a Finnish Finnish book was uh, actually reading uh, reading a book in Finnish after in a, in a long long time. So one of my one of my friends uh, did uh, and is doing like um, a children's book series. So that was the was the last book I read to to uh, to she had made. And before that, I actually I. Uh, I hadn't uh, I hadn't read the uh, Ready Player One. I I saw the movie, saw the movie first, and then I read the book. I usually read um, read fantasy, like uh, the obvious obvious ones, like uh, like the Song of Song of Fire and Ice. But uh, I'm a big fan of uh, of Steven Erickson. If you know the Book of the Malasan series, I'm, uh, that's a 
probably my favorite fantasy series of, uh, of all times. But I actually haven't read uh, read, read uh, Ericsson's book in a while. Yeah, I should see what uh, what he's been up to up to after that because uh, he's quite uh, quite a productive writer. I believe Steven Ericsson is Canadian. I might be, I'm not sure, but like that rings some sort of bell that he uh, he might. But I do remember that he's uh, he's not Swedish <laughs> because the name is uh, sounds a little bit like Scandinavian. But I remember checking that he was not Swedish. Mostly read hard sci-fi. I haven't uh, like I. Um, actually, now, now that's uh, like sci-fi, sci-fi in general. Like um, when I was like in uh, in my teens, I was I was reading all the cyberpunk books. So I got uh, I read I read Necro uh, Neuromancer, Neuromancer when I was like eleven. And uh, after that, I read all the all uh, all the books from uh, Philip K. Dick I could find. Uh, Blade Runner is my all-time favorite movie, so that probably explains that. But yeah, I, I actually haven't read uh, sci-fi or cyberpunk or anything any books like that in a in a long time. I, I should. But yeah, I'm I'm also like I I I read more books when I was younger. But uh I've always been more into um into movies. I'm movies or even reading comics. Uh so I'm uh, feel like I'm quite uh, quite visual. Visual person when it comes to learning, when it comes to uh Taking information in, even that I like reading, and I also play video games. Like I, I just like if I, if I have that moment, I will instead, uh, I will instead play uh, play a game than uh, than read a book. Also, I think uh, if I if I would look back, I think like uh, services like Netflix. Ever ever since I uh, I got one, I think my uh, my reading has gone down significantly. Like reading uh, reading um, fiction. Always. Always something to watch on Netflix or HBO. Yeah, I, I totally, totally get any anyone who likes reading, like actually reading like one or one or two books a week, because it's a, uh, it's uh, it's a different thing, but it's probably the same thing. Same thing. What I what I get from uh, from video games. Just uh, relaxing and uh, getting uh, sinking into a uh, into a different world. Six 
is 84, still the record. Oh, come on, that was, that was unlucky. Unlucky fishing tackle, that's one. The first one lasted, lasted like 20 days. That's when it's, uh, that's when it's down in just a couple. This pack is getting kind of heavy. Alright, Jim, we'll, uh, we'll have fun here at the fishery. You enjoy the classes. Or the Jim. <sighs> See you, Jim. The, ooh, six, six, six. The fish of the boost. <laughs> Boom. I think that, that might have been the biggest fish gallery was. Is getting too heavy to carry. Yeah, that, that we haven't had a 2,000 calorie fish, and that was almost 2,000 calories. Mm, oh, come on, Astrid. I know it's heavy. Man, don't rest soon. I'm gonna faint. Love the love the subtle music in this game. It kind of gets your gets your attention when it actually plays. So relaxing.
that, yeah, the Ash, Ash Canyon music is great. Like, all, well, all the music in this one is great, but, uh... Oh, did I... Damn it. The... I like the Ash Canyon. Well, I, I like all the music in this game, but, uh... But, uh... As far as atmosphere goes, the Ash Canyon music was, uh, was fantastic when hearing that for the first time, exploring the place. What was that sound? A creeping sound. What the heck was that? Happened when I when I went into fishing. That was weird. Did it come from here? No. I don't know what it was. I'm sure I can carry much more. Need to need to do a little bit of squats here, so uh, Astrid's uh, legs don't uh, get totally numb. Shelter. One of the tools I can't remember which right now I started referring to as Kimi or the Steam music. <laughs> nice. Yay, a blizzard. Is it a blizzard? I, if I, can drop I think it's a blizzard. Here. Turn into a blizzard, but it's not not quite a blizzard yet, I think. Yet one really nice one, like an almost almost eight hour blizzard, more like that, please. Hey, thanks for the thanks for the lurk, Hilke. See you again.
Oh, I have to go. I have to go outside for the goal. So I had three from the ground, I think. So I took. I took about 20. Look at this. That was what I was going for. I think 4.30 4.30 and then we go and uh, get the goal Finally, a blizzard that didn't end, end in an hour. It's good. We 
Which do you prefer? Physical, space consuming, delivery delay, more expensive books or ebook? I um, I haven't gotten into ebooks. So I pre I prefer the library. But from from those options, the physical space consuming delivery delay more expensive books. Audio audio books or re real books. I well, I haven't gotten the like actual good um, ebook reader, which might change things. But I uh, I just haven't gotten gotten into it. Come on, Blizzard, stay for a long time, please. Hey, hey, another blizzard. Load for much longer. Blizzard. Blizzard went and blizzard, blizzard again. Nice. Wonder if I can drop any of this gear. haven't stepped into a library after school days. I I love libraries. Although I, I do I do own quite a lot of books. Like I I feel I have too many books myself. Yeah that I don't have like that many. But one one bookshelf is already quite a lot of uh because I I don't particularly like there are maybe Maybe 20 books, 20 books out of the 80 or 100 I have that I would actually want to keep. Rest I have because I have bought them and I uh, haven't bothered selling them or giving them to friends or anything like that. So that's why I like library. You can borrow, you can read. And then uh, return. Oh no! Oh. I forgot to check my clothes! Oh, I'm such a dumbass! Oh, for fuck's sake! Now I, I feel like a complete idiot right now. Oh my god. I feel so stupid. Of course, because I'm out here. I actually thought that the fishing hut protects me from this. When I'm in a fishing hut. Oh, that's... Oh, that sucks balls. Luckily, I noticed the notification that socks were ruined. But actually, the... The only pieces of underwear I oh, the only pieces of things I can't replace have been ruined because I was I was dumb enough not to check them. Oh my god. I didn't know that was a thing. I feel so stupid now. No no the blizzard blizzard is extreme well staying outside, especially in a blizzard, is ex extremely taxing for your clothes. But I thought the fishing hut protects me from it. But it doesn't, and I'm, uh, 
So we are we are now in uh, in um, how much the underbear are? Are they like at least two degrees? Two degrees warmth plus the socks. Jeez, that's oh, that's well. Luckily, we only have about seventy-five days to go, but that sucks so much. Well, I guess we are going commando then, for the rest of the run. <laughs> Sorry about that, Astrid. Was not my plan. Why did I only notice it now when I got the, like first of them got ruined? Well, it's 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 gone. I can't do anything about it now. I should have actually been fishing naked. I think the, I think they wore out less. But I wasn't thinking about that. And this does give me mending experience, but uh Oh man, that's oh that is so oh, why? No, all the all the other underwear are gone, ruined, ripped, ripped into cloth. Oh, I wish it was the socks first that that got, but this is this is like two the. Oh, oh, that's so bad. That that will make everything like five degrees harder for the for the rest of this. Uh. I'm not sure I can carry much more. Should I have done like this? I think they would have lasted longer. Well, that's uh well I haven't been doing this before, this long of a fishing session, so now I know. Well that was <laughs> that was disappointing. Uh no pants. Not a mistake, it's a learning experience, correct. I don't know how I didn't how I didn't know this that the underwear got ruined. I, I missed that notification. But it's a good thing I noticed that the socks were ruined. I was like the the, the socks worn out. I was like, wait what? Why? So that could have been a whole lot worse. I could have lost like the ear apps, I could have lost I could have lost basically everything. So that was a... Uh, it was all right that I noticed now. On the bright side. Playing this war of mine, the first uh, the survivor. Your character got killed. You're furious, but decided to play on. Learned a lot in the process. Yeah, I uh, I agree with that on a lot of games. Uh, that uh, 
while while you always have the temptation to reload if uh, if you die or well if you die if, if uh, one of your character dies like something that that is not game over but uh, is uh, is bad so then uh, kind of uh, if you resist the temptation to reload or sometimes the game doesn't allow that but uh, if it does allow reload like resist the temptation to reload and you will you will actually have a good experience from uh, from it in the end it's kind of part of the game. Okay, so now doing this blizzard, since we are now not wearing anything, our, our clothes should be taking a little bit less beating. I was just happy about the blizzards and I wasn't, wasn't thinking about that at all. Oh well. Time to craft a pair of scruffy shorts. Sadly, sadly you can't craft the underwear. That's that's why that's why lo the losing the underwear and the socks is the worst thing that can happen because those are the only things I can't replace by crafting. So I'm I'm now three pieces of clothing shorts, and there's nothing I can do about it at this stage of the game. That's the that's the worst. That those those were those are irre, in, irre, irre, irreplaceable at this stage of the game. And it's uh, it's like three three degree deficit for me, which will make uh, being outside a whole lot harder. Yep. Lost, uh, <laughs> lost underwear, lost one pair of socks. Because I was dumbass. Let's see how the how the clothes stay now when I'm not wearing them. Yeah, they are not taking any damage. They are not taking any damage now that I'm not wearing them. Ah, uh, uh. Well, I know that. I know that now. And if you ever do fishing for a very long time in a blizzard, take off your clothes. Don't wear them. Don't be like me. I almost feel like going going to Bleak Inlet now. Just uh, just to see if there would be like lucky unruined pants. But I, I doubt it. I doubt it. And then, uh, if if I even had underwear somewhere, they would be ruined for sure. Uh, I, I wouldn't mind if I could actually repair the ruined things. Let's say that if, if the repair takes ten, uh, takes one cloth, I wouldn't mind using 10 cloth to repair those underwear right now. I wouldn't mind using 20. Because without, because uh, I'm, this run is feedless, I don't have cold fusion. The, just the two degrees from the, from the underwear is, uh, is humongous. It's uh, often, often like the difference between uh, actually doing something outside and not. But as I said, luckily we are on the final stretch of the game. So, like, if I really wanted, I could be doing this for the for the rest of the run. Oh man! Oh, I'm actually. Actually, full, so let's, uh, let's go back into this one. Let's get this one, I guess. And 
then I will repair that those. Okay. Everything everything else kind of fine. Man, I I wish I wish I would have I, I could have probably I could have probably gone with just one underwear loss if I had noticed notification whenever the first piece of underwear broke. Or maybe they broke all at once, I don't know. Maybe I just got the notification for uh, for one. Well. Looks like I made it through another night. I I do agree. It could have been could have been worse. I could have also lost the ear apps. Could have lost the combat pants. But as I said, like um, the well ear ear apps, underwear, socks, you were sick. You like, I couldn't replace. So I'm uh, I'm happy I kept one <laughs> one ear app and one sock. <laughs> one socks. Would have been worse indeed. Mom was right, always keep spare underwear and socks, she said. <laughs> yep. <laughs> definitely, definitely correct. Snow and nothing to drink. I started thinking that I I might have might have actually left. I might have actually had one piece of underwear extra. Either either at um, at Pleasant Valley the abandoned abandoned shelter. Going to the Timberwolf Mountain or at Timberwolf Mountain, but I'm even if I did have underwear there, I'm the the clothing there is ruined. It's been such a long time, so it doesn't doesn't really help. So we will uh, we will go with what we have.
425. What? Did I, did I get it? It was that fast! Yes! <laughs> yes! We went from 80% to 100 in 4 hours of streaming. Yes! Nice! Blizzard Walker. Not, not worth the underwear, but I'm happy. <laughs> so that means 100 hours of Blizzard while, while we have been here. It doesn't, it doesn't reduce the... They, well, first of all, they don't unlock for the run you have. You have to activate them at the beginning of the run, and that uh, Blizzard Walker reduces the or speeds you up when you are walking against the wind. If you activate it. I kind of wish the Gold Fusion, for example, would be active for this run, but it's not. Oh, but that was... that was... Uh, that, I didn't expect it to happen that fast. Well, that's fast, <laughs> four hours of fishing here, but still, it's pretty good. And kind of explains why the, why the clothes were ruined. Yep, they are not taking a single point of damage when I'm not wearing them. Oh. <laughs> I wish I... I wish I knew. I wish I knew. Would have been naked all time. Yeah, definitely know now, that's for sure. That's actually two things, two things I learned from that. Well, first of all, when you're doing this fishing, sure, take the clothes off. But uh, because I'm in, I'm in uh, wind shelter, kind of continuously here in the, in the fishing hut, I thought that protects from the blizzard damage. But maybe maybe the blizzard has been blowing into the, into the hut or something, I don't know. It's a lot of uh, a lot of good knowledge from that. No, Look at the fish. Yes, the yeah, they something can something can get ruined if it's below uh, if it's too or uh, too or below. So the socks. Uh, there's no, there's no repair option. It's uh, still uh, ruined. Sadness. I'm not going to be able to carry this load for much longer. This much gear. Well, those, those build up fast.
I accidentally drink some tea, I think. <laughs> I don't know what I clicked. Of, a couple of more days and then uh, then we'll um, we'll go do a little bit something else. I look for a little bit and there's more fresh fish than cooked fish. Are you trying to clear the lake? <laughs> Something like that. Well, there's actually quite a lot of cooked fish here. It's just uh, it's the big pot. It can be misleading that uh, pile of fish fillet. Wonder if I can drop any of this gear. It's dusk, so I can't be far behind. But uh, part of part of this is uh, kind of just passing time while still doing something useful. So it uh, turned out really fast twenty days. And as I said, like usually, usually a five-hour stream has been on average uh, eight eight to ten days. We have almost like two and a half times that already in four hours doing this. So this has been kind of a Big jump towards the 500 here. Still not worth the underpants though. <sighs> On day 500, the mouth leaves the ecosystem totally destroyed. <laughs> All the all the bears killed, all the mooses are mooses are gone. Lake is empty empty of all the fish. Yep. And this pack is getting kinda heavy. I wonder, wonder what the condition of this petrol is. It's been out here. It's probably totally ruined as well. I'm not sure I can carry much more. Mother Nature counterattacks with never ending blizzard. <laughs> I don't care, I got two, I got two. D500. Under, underpants or not, you got there. I wonder if I can drop any of this gear. Plus, morning.
I can carry much more. Is the winning different between gamble and roulette? Uh, they are the same. Like roulette is the actual module on stream element spots and uh, Gamble, here. Gamble is just an alias for the roulette. Uh, slots, slots and roulette are different. Orcs, orcs are not that high for the I don't I don't think for the slots, but you can you can get more more for the bed from the slots. I will, uh, I will take a short break, short break and uh, we'll continue with the fishing for just a little bit after that, but we are maybe maybe a couple of days and then uh, then I'll go for a go run and to uh, Pleasant Valley as well. We might go all the way to Timberwolf Mountain to visit visit that, uh, that one more time. I kind of want to see if I have ruined underpants there, but uh, let's, have a, let's have a break about... Uh, five minutes or so and uh, let's continue after that all right let's get back to the long dark where where we are fishing and astrid has gone commando because <laughs> because i let uh, let the underwear go into ruins while i while i was fishing but a uh, couple of more days of fishing and then uh, then we will leave for a pleasant valley and Timberwolf Mountain for a little bit. A little bit of change of base, but let's um, this pack is getting kinda heavy. Let's fish. Fish some more before that. I'm sure I can carry much more. You're welcome, Ruckless. Happy, happy if my, if my s silly, silly cliffs made you laugh. Oh, were you laughing at me losing the underwear? Well, you can laugh at that as well. Now that I think about it, Fidel and me got shot in the back, Trudy, man. That is true. I can barely walk with this much gear. I 
wonder if I can drop any of this gear. Oh, it's getting dark out here. Time to look for shelter. I've been watching since uh, first XCOM campaign. That's a uh, it's a long time. Was uh, too heavy to carry. What was that? 2013. When was when was uh, when was XCOM XCOM released? Oh. I don't even know what to say. Hey, perfect trip. Thank you so much for the raid. Welcome, welcome to the fail village. Rip, rip underwear village. How are you? How are you guys? Thank you so much for the raid, perfect. Oh, you were, play you were playing some Dark Souls today. I was about to say that you were probably playing the Long Dark, and you were playing some Dark Souls too. Nice. So, though, if you don't know Perfect Trip, uh, go give him a follow. Uh, plays a lot of uh, lot of long, long Dark. I think uh, most of the time, if not always, uh, without a without a camera or mic, but uh, still a very very good DLD player. But yeah, uh, I'm pushing towards 500 days. Uh, I made it to 400 days and then I started fishing. Um, there was one thing I didn't know or think about, which was remove your clothes when you are fishing. So, yeah, damn it, we are we are going commando now. So yeah, I got the Blizzard Walker, <laughs> Blizzard Walker today, but we also lost the pants. Yeah, I was, uh, I was not thinking, but, uh, yeah, the blizzard stole my clothes. So, uh, we will be without underpants for the last, uh, 75 days. Oh! I was, I was carrying those. I'm not going to be able to carry this load for much longer. Not, not into that pile. Man, this pack is getting kind of heavy. But yeah, apart from losing the... <laughs> Apart from losing the pants, it has actually been a pretty, pretty good day. I said uh, I went from 80% 80% blizzard walker into getting it just a moment ago. So uh, now more or less everything I was aiming for on this run has been unlocked because I got the Gold Fusion Firemaster yesterday, blizzard walker today, and these these ones happen. Happen and I don't, re don't really even care. But yeah, the... Uh, uh, two, two, three degrees of warmth from the underwear and the uh, socks would have come really useful here in the last 70 days, but uh, it is what it is. I'm not sure I can carry much more. So I'm, I'll do a couple of, couple of more days of fishing here and uh, then. Uh, I'll go collect some coal and uh, visit uh, Pleasant Valley and Timberwolf Mountain. Kind of double checking as well that's if I if I actually have some underwear there that for with some miracle would not be ruined. But I don't think I do. Socks I definitely don't have. That's for sure. I'm gonna need to rest 
I don't know actually like how how long could I actually just live with this fish here because there's quite a lot of it. fish until the next morning still and then uh, then I'll probably go into the cabin to uh, repair the animal animal clothes I have and then, uh, then we'll go uh, then we'll go to Pleasant Valley why I don't really do well in this game is that I need, really need to know how many fish is in that pile, <laughs> even if I take an hour to count, I would. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I guess you would, you would, okay. well, that's, like, usually, like, in this case I didn't care, but that's one of the reasons why I build meat carpets, so that I know it's 5 by 5 okay, that's 25 kilos of meat. So, I, I totally understand you, but uh, in this case I, I didn't really care. Pile of fish, pile of coal, good enough. <laughs> Is it though? What if you thought it was at least 10 coal and it's only 6? <laughs> Does not compute. Computer says no.
That is indeed very, very annoying. Not a single... Not a single percentage of damage after I took the clothes off. Now that I got the blizzard walker, I don't care about the blizzards anymore. Blizzards were making me happy before, but now that I got the blizzard walker... Not so much. I can carry much more. <laughs> I wonder if I can drop any of this gear. Two percent that started from ninety eight, I think. Oh, I wish I had some underpants. I guess I don't. <laughs> plus 23. I can probably get that to 25, but it's uh, like 3 degrees. Oh man, it's so bad. Okay, that stays here. That stays here. What else stays here? Oh, I can actually use that, so I at some point was thinking about fixing those, so I can, uh, I can repair my mittens first.
Yeah, so we need to repair both of the both of the deer pants and the rabbit hats. While it's warm, it's also is also um, heavy. Sharper am I? No, to be to be honest, right now without uh, without underwear, I think I, I think I need to repair everything. Alright, Rocklos, take care. Thanks for, uh, thanks for hanging out. Could craft one arrow before I leave. Fishing hut for a little bit to repair it there because the fire is still burning. And uh, okay, I don't care about you right now, wolf. The wolf spawned immediately. The wolf spawned immediately when I came here. No spawn in the 30 days when I was in the in the huts. Interesting. That's now 100 percent Let's do another repair on the mittens to get them to 100. smell you better without socks might be might be
Reaper rolling. Everything repaired, I get to 28, which means I could have been at uh, 29 or uh, 29 or 30. But 28 is what I've been hovering with, so I just have to keep the clothes I have in better condition. And now, uh, we'll, be, we'll be fine. No sharpening skill on interloper. There is. Uh, it's uh, it's maxed out. I wake up fully rested. Can you eat trees? somewhere.
Sounds a bit like Blizzard outside, but I'm not sure if it is. Let's see if it is. It is not a Blizzard. went somewhere else. in uh, Timberwolf Mountain, so we don't need to carry this. This the steam is actually floating in the air. It doesn't show from here, but Break the shelves and such with uh, the hammer. You can break the chairs. Wolf will get that deer.
Why did you not get scared before? Wasn't hitting close enough? Shots. Bad shot, bad shots. Doesn't get much easier than that, the shot, but uh, sure. Get that away. Come on, little fire. Come on.
drink. So that puts me on 11, 14 arrows, yes. Uh, 14 arrows. I don't have anything else. Else here, those are alright. That's why I will actually leave here. stuff at the cabin and then uh, head towards Pleasant Valley. After this, will you do any more survival games on stream? Um, possible, yes. Uh, I don't think I'm done with the, with the long, long dark either after this. Uh, however, like immediately after this, I, I will take a little break from this. So I've been playing like two or three games at once. So I will uh, experiment with just playing one, uh, like during the summer, and uh, I'm pretty sure I will at least do the long dark um, challenges, and then um, I will do the story mode for YouTube, and then uh, then I'll see what I do. I'll see what I do. So I, uh, I really, really like this game, but uh, I um, I want to do a little bit, a little more focused on the on the stream for a while. But as far as like other other survi survival games, uh, as said, uh, possible because I I do like survival games, but I haven't uh, haven't thought about it. Uh, Subnautica is quite on high on my list uh, as a game I would play if I play something. Is the wolf here? Wolf is not here. Are we okay? I need to drop anything. Uh, lamp. sandbox game what what do you mean what do you mean real sandbox game like in in DLD or some some other game okay but 
it's uh, the wards. Wards Pleasant Valley we got. Oh wait. Did I, did I use all my I use all my coal? No, but I will I will, I will find coal in the I will find coal in the mine. My understanding sandbox was always like start with a shovel and build a city and such. Ah I I haven't thought about the origins of sandbox. Because for example to me Mountain Blade is a sandbox game. Including Banner Lord. This is a sandbox. Game where you make your own coal, whatever that is. Sounds like multiple wolves. Are they like right here or are they further away? Further away. Oh, there you are. Not so, not so far away. Close enough, close enough to actually get acro from uh, just right there. But yeah, Mike, you are, you are probably right about the sandbox, but I, I've actually never thought about it like that. How did that... Okay, how did... How did you see me from there? What the hell? I was already past you. Get out of here. Probably the wolf here as well. This was last time. I didn't see it, but I don't really care. My, there must be some sort of machinery on my neighbor or outside. Someone, someone is, uh, someone is using a uh, something on wheels. Interland call, calls it sandbox. When someone mentions sandbox, I always thought of Minecraft or something like. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, that's that's not incorrect by by any means. I just haven't. I had. I just never have thought about uh, kind of actual kind of. I oh, I I've never thought about uh, sandbox in any other way than the fact that uh, when you are playing on a sandbox, no one is telling you what to do. 
That's uh, that's always been my interpretation. Okay, do we care about this blizzard? No, because we are right at the mine. Now I do have oil for my lamp, so I don't need the fire. I, I was scared like where's my lamp because it wasn't there. <laughs> oh there it is. Good. Uh, first of all let's repair that. I'm not sure if you even need a tool for that. Then we refuel it. some fuel at this end. Yeah, that is true. Like with uh, with apps or apps or software or such, like sandbox is uh, sandbox is uh, kind of a isolated environment. But even even there, it's kind of it often refers to uh, as uh, kind of your your own environment where you can do whatever you want and not not break the not break anyone else's system or something like that. Before we before we go through the mine, I will take uh, take a little break. And then we have uh, we have Pleasant Valley ahead, so I will visit the community center, probably the farm. I will check my notes uh, after the break, and then uh, we'll head towards uh, Timberwolf Mountain, uh, kind of to give those places uh, a visit because I spend uh, quite a lot of time, especially in Timberwolf Mountain.
And uh, we probably have some bears to hunt as well, maybe a moose. So uh, we'll see how far we get today. But uh, let's now have a break. And, uh, and about five minutes, probably. And then uh, let's continue to that. All right, all right. Welcome back to the long dark. Let's let's head towards this uh, of this mine towards Pleasant Valley. Uh, looks like I left some rocks here, so I can actually drop some some things we have here, and we'll just collect more along the way. So. Uh, Let's go, let's go through, let's collect coal, then, um, then we will head towards, head towards Pleasant Valley, or in, in Pleasant Valley, towards, um, the community center, or community hall, Thompson's Crossing, I guess, and then, uh, onwards to, uh, Timberwolf Mountain, eventually, but probably, Today we'll uh, be in Pleasant Valley hunting, checking what I had in there, and uh, go from there. Rock collection. Yeah, but, uh, with 50 rocks, 50 rocks you can build uh, a rock cache in this game, uh, like a self-built uh, storage or comp like a that way we can uh, store things inside. So that's why I've uh, been collecting the... Oh, I've never seen a coal there on the wall like that, that's cool. Uh, so I've been collecting stones, stones a bit to have... Uh, have a... Um, stock if I want to build... Uh, build cash somewhere. Okay, let's check this. Back after a four hour break. Just gonna look. Ooh, that game mode. Bargain. I'd want to offer my bank 50 rocks <laughs> for a pile of cash. Yes, exactly that kind of cash. Well, I don't know how how much how much was it that people were paying for those pet rocks. So, yeah, I. You don't even need 50 rocks, you just need one.
mine hole. Sounds like a blizzard is still on, but that's fine with me. That was a lot. 45 gold. Wow, that's yeah, that's that's good. Let's have let's have three with me. Since uh, since Crawfy attacked me, I uh, I didn't remember to renew my my bandage storage. It's down to two. I always want to have at least three, preferably four or five. Alright Hilke, you are welcome for the daytime stream. Really made my work a little happier, very nice to hear that, very nice to hear. Have a great rest of your day and a good start for the week. Valley. Have I mapped this place? I have not mapped this place, but we are we are we are coming from this corner here. 
this corner here we have some wolves, possibly a bear. On our way, as I get to her, uh, get to Thompson's crossing. Did I say I hate being cold? Because I really do. I don't remember exactly like where it's uh where did the animals spawn in here, so I'm being a little bit mindful. At least I have the oh, flare oh, pistol oh. here if we get into uh, get in the trouble. But when I when I get to the road then I kinda know where I am. And then uh, from there have to just uh, keep an eye out for the pair. In this game, whenever you see fallen trees or things like that, that's point somewhere. They are not coincidence. That always points towards shelter. So even even if we are totally totally new to the game, you can always use the that kind of landmarks as, uh, as your guide. I wish I knew that when I started playing. Just survived the trip to Forlorn. Fell into water on the way there. Coming back blocked by four puppies. Spent the night at the tower. Luckily there was a deer which fed me through the night. Back to the lake with a new hatchet knife and 42 arrowheads. Good job, Redact. Nice. That sounds like Forlorn, alright? <laughs> Falling into the water, being haunted by wolves. That's a... Uh, Sounds exactly like it. On a on a scale of uh, like uh, on, on a scale of one to ten, like how how much did you uh, did you uh, get scared when you fell into the water? So I remember when that happened to me for the first time. Uh, that scared the heck out of me. I was like, oh, is this game over? And then uh, then uh, after that, like, wait a minute. All my clothes are wet. What do I do now? And also, kind of, it happens kind of all of a sudden. So that too. Luckily there was no typical Pleasant Valley weather welcoming with welcoming me with uh, welcoming me with uh, well, this stuff will come in handy. Oh for for a split second I thought those those would not be ruined when I saw them. Ah oh, 
Such a tease from the past me. Why did you leave ruined socks there? Well, I guess they weren't ruined when you left them. Such a tease past me. Again, for those, those, who, those who weren't here when I was fishing, I lost my underwear and one piece of my socks into a blizzard because I didn't uh, understand to uh, strip myself naked when I was fishing. You had a stockpile of food, uh, wood at the forge. Nice. Yeah, so I guess it wasn't that bad. That's bad dropping into the water. Good, good. Oh, it is... It is It is saying that I have uh, I have gloats in Skeeter's Ridge, but those have been there for like 300 days, so uh, there's no way they would be uh, not ruined. There's a moose hide in the cave. We could actually go there and check on the moose. I don't remember what day that was on. We do have quality tools there, but I, I feel like carrying the one, one piece of quality tools now on me. Without training I think in real life that falling through ice with no hell pods are not good of surviving even if you did not make it out. Even if you did make it out. Yet uh, uh, if you if you fall fall to an ice and you have not been kind of educated how to how to get away from there, and even if you see someone fall into ice and you uh you haven't been educated how like how to how to save people from there, it's uh it's a dangerous situation, especially if it happens in wilderness. Like it, if it happens, like you are, you are next to the next to the civilization doing ice fishing or whatever you are doing on the ice and fall in there. Like chances of someone being there, hearing you, is uh, there's a good chance. And of course, you are hopefully not alone there in the ice first of all. But yeah, it's uh, if you. If you don't, if you don't have the ice spikes with you that you can uh, use yourself to draw yourself out from the ice, it is very difficult to get up from there. I've uh, I've done it done it in a in a, like a dry suit, the the kind of like, like not not a wet suit that you ever actually get wet, but uh, the ones that completely completely covers you. And I've been I've been practicing that without. Uh, without the ice spikes and it's uh it's horrible especially if the ice is weak because when you are trying to crawl out the ice just breaks breaks when you are trying to uh crawl out from there and uh the icy icy water gets you fast it gets you really fast okay but well, i think we are i think we are good let me see if i did I get my uh, fishing camp? Uh, I think I updated these, so they should be kind of okay. Or it's just, damn it! Or just one, one knife there now, because I have one. I 
haven't seen a cup of coffee in ages in this game, so I will uh, I will gladly take that. We will see if the bear is there. If the bear is there. Now I've I've made like in all the maps I have uh, I have places like this that's where I can just uh, just come to bush by get things. And uh, continue on. I will actually take uh, take those matches and leave these. Not that I need matches, but I can actually start using matches much more liberally. I've been kind of saving them out of uh, out of habits and uh, principle. into ice once, but only to my hips. That was horrible enough. Ice water is pure pain. The cold shock immediately took my breath and breath for a few seconds. But yeah, I've been. Uh, I I do ice fishing, uh, ice fishing uh, during the winters, but it's uh, it's very different because you you kind of know I'm I'm going there, and then you kind of uh, you it it still kind of uh, gets your breath because the water is ice icy. But when it happens, like uh, by surprise, it's uh, you get the shock effect in addition to the cold water. So uh, if uh, it's um, if you if you have a chance to to do it like without uh, when you have the dry suit on, get the bear bear is there. Uh, when you have the dry suit on, it's uh, you don't get that much of the of the cold effect. Um, but uh, if you if you ever have a chance to uh, fall into a ice like con in a controlled way, wearing a dry suit, I I highly recommend it. Kind of a well, if you if you live in a <laughs> if you live in an area where you ha have a remote possibility of sometimes falling falling through ice. I just said I would use <sighs> just said I would use matches more liberally. I've never felt so cold. So let's let's do exactly that. Hey Rockstar Rat. Nice seeing you too. Come on, little fire. Ha! <laughs> 
how did you get that far? And also, I, th I think I was actually hidden from the bear. The bear didn't see. Oh, poor chatty. Is he complaining? Probably because I shot an arrow, uh, arrow through its ear. shots and it didn't die. I must have not hit it very well, actually. Definitely a hit. It's not dead. Now I started doubting myself that did I actually hit it. Pretty sure I did. Let's see blood though. Talk about confidence, Semalf is preparing broth for the bear even before bear is dead. Yes, yes I was. Yeah, did, you, did you go to your cave? Getting 
Did I actually miss the bear? No, it was it was complaining. It must be must be wounded. I'm just uh, quite confused why why it didn't uh, why it didn't do. Game of a classic Finnish daily life, just yell, yell a perkele. <laughs> yeah, that would do it. Freezing. Oh, there it is. Yeah. I wonder if it's getting back to its, uh, its cave or something. If you want to learn about about bears, bears, uh, Finland and Perkele, Google Google Finnish man bear from uh, from YouTube. And that's uh, that's curse word, basically like kind of like devil, kinda. Yep, that's uh, that's kind of kind of how Arva Perele probably probably had his name. Basically, direct translation of Arva Perele's guess, damn it. Totally baffled why this bear is not dead. My only only assumption is that I I didn't hit him actually. Oh, I hit him like very very weakly. Come on, Astrid. Really? I'm I'm starting to think I didn't actually hit him. It's a very long time that he's not dying. Maybe me going to the car somehow reset at that or something. I don't know. Maybe he's dying. I don't know. Oh, 
My fingers feel numb. <laughs> Go ask if he's dying. <laughs> Oh no, Varakim. Only now you receive Discord notification about the stream. Working all day without the Zoy of Z. Oh no! Yeah, the Discord notification is not the most reliable. Uh, as far as like the, the the post goes there, but the, for example, the mobile client actually sending the notification. It's, it's not the most reliable. That's for sure. The Twitch mobile client gives uh, gives better if you have the notifications on. I didn't hear him, I know. So I think I have missed all the shots. No, he's definitely bleeding. So I, I did hit once. <laughs> and he kind of ran to a good location now. Well, kinda. I had a hunch. I had a hunch where uh, where the bear was earlier, but now now it's a little bit more guesswork where where it ran. Struggling with the bear? Hell yeah, I'm struggling with the bear. Like bears, bears, bears are my nemesis on this run. Starting from day two. No, no hawks from the bears, please. I hear crows. Did it die now? Oh, thank you. Finally. Man, it took a long time to bleed. I was sh I was sure I hit it twice. I don't know what happened for my second shot. Oh, actually, the second shot was probably what hit it. No, I... Oh, but he was complaining after the first. Maybe it just didn't bleed. Maybe it just bled out so uh, so slowly. So cold. <laughs> yep, that's my that's my second shot. Yeah, Varakim, we we are we are going commando now. Come on, little fire. I uh I got my underwear ruined while fishing. 
by a blizzard. Not, not, didn't ruin them myself. That that sounded that sounded wrong. <laughs> Yeah, I was I was fishing for 30 days, 30 days, and uh, I didn't realize that uh, staying there in the fishing hut, I was actually not protected by the blizzards that were going on. So uh, both underwear and one piece of socks got uh, got ruined before I noticed it. All the other clothes were super badly damaged, so I could have lost even more. But uh, yeah, that was uh, that was not great. Okay. Let's do let's do the harvesting. Two liters of water. Four or four or three kilos of uh, of meat. Oh come on, really? <laughs> okay, this is a dangerous spot to be doing this. With the meat actually going, uh, going into the <laughs> into the snow. Uh, when you do that, you carcass harvest halfway. Press esc. The meat is cooked. Eat if you need. The water is boiled. Two more. Two more into cooking, make sure you have enough fire and Gargas harvest rest. You have three or four kilos of meat, two liters of water and uh, harvested pear. Although this wind is kind of annoying, it might put my torch out. But let's see. Wonder if I can drop any of this gear. I'm sure I can carry much more. I wonder if I can drop any of this gear. Now you get my torch. How do you make the bags? Just go to a nearby shop and buy those? Yes. You just go, go there and uh, tell them, I need bags. I need meat bags.
I see a wolf. Wolf that smells me. Ask about plastic bottles while you're at it, yes. So 500 days, it's like nearly two years. How did you find a civilization to start a new one by now? Well, in the game settings, you are in a Great Bear Island, somewhere in Canada. Northern Canada, I believe. And um, there's no one else here. In the survivor mode. The story mode is a different story. With a even if I haven't played it, I know that much. And yeah, kind of starting a new civilization here. Dancing, dancing with bears and uh, hawks with wolves. fire in as well. I'm not sure I can carry much more. <laughs> Canadian flag still waving? That's us.
why is it so dark in there? <laughs> There's fire right here. All right, I didn't have any more bags yet. What is the cause for your sprint circle being limited to only one third of it? Is this is an interlocking on effect of a previous injury? It's the um, it's the clothing. Clothing, so uh, in the clothing you have the um, like uh, like there. Uh, it's behind my camera. <laughs> <laughs> Just a moment. Basically, it's a, the clothing stats is showing minus something percent of uh, less sprint. So you can sprint as fast, but uh, but the red circle is because uh, basically the pair code, for example, takes 20% off. And because I have two, that's 40%. I wonder if I can drop any of this gear. So, uh, the animal clothing, uh, bear coat, deer, deer pants, deer boots, they, uh, they have penalties for the, for the stamina. Some of, some more than others, but that's, uh, so basically on Intel Opera you typically have more of that red because you are wearing two bear coats. Unlike, say, uh, Expedition Parka in, uh, any other difficult. So it's basically you can sprint sprint for a shorter period of time. Deer boots actually give sprint, not reduce. Ah, right. Yeah, well, I, to be honest, I haven't even paid attention to the stats. But a good point. Nope. They are they are minus five. Both are both are minus five. As are rabbits. Rabbit hat is not mittens are. These are minus 20. The boots are minus 5 as well. So in, in total that adds up adds up quite quickly and that's why on me it's a circle is quite big. I think uh, from the normal clothes, like uh, some someone might prefer the the running shoes. If I recall, the running shoes actually uh, improve that, or at least they reduce it the least. And because you also you have the running shoes on Interloper as well, like uh, early on. Someone might actually prefer them. Also sprinting on this road, or moving on the road including sprinting, is faster. And the lighter you are, the fa faster you sprint. And the other way around. 
Was there a deer boot made from a deer that was shot in the knee? <laughs> it would explain the 2%. Yeah. Yeah. No. I need to find a place to rest. a good supply of uh, good supply of meat here again. Journal, like when did we when did we get the moose? Would we have a chance to get the moose again here? Be nice. I never thought of using the stoves for cooking due to the less fire time and being inside, but considering you have six pots, it actually reduces full consumption. Yep, that's uh, the six burners, yes. The, say the two burner, two burner you have in trappers, for example. Uh, well, of course, it's, it's, uh, it's safe fire. 
So there's that to consider as well, because it will never go out. But uh, but this one, this one or the or the one in uh, in Milton, Milton uh, definitely definitely worth uh, worth using when there. And yeah, you 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 get uh, get things cooked so fast. And uh, of course, you can set uh, like free free fires outside pretty easily, pretty easily. But then uh, also have to have uh, more firewood to do that. Excellent timing as well. I like this. It's uh, middle middle of the night, so I don't have to. Uh, I don't have to uh, wake up in the cold, cold part of the morning. Meat carpets. Combining it with the actual carpets. Blocking the okay, fine. We'll make a make a lengthy one this time. Come on. Very important part of playing the long dark on interloper difficulty. Build meat carpets. Or on any difficulty. Your your gameplay will improve by 0.017% if you build meat carpets. The chances of survival will go up at least 0.2% if you build meat carpets. So do it. This is more of a, I don't know what this is. Two by two by um two by uh, fifteen is not uh, not your standard meat carpets. You should you should make uh you should start with four by four, maybe five by five. Uh with multiple hunts seven by seven is the ultimate. But uh I take that. Should be cooked. That's my snack. Man, gotta have his meat straight. <laughs> What's the hardest time you had in this, had in this game? Uh, when I was uh, in Hashua Valley, uh, 
I went there because I don't know the map that well. I got lost twice in Blizzard. Um, like totally, totally, I have no idea where I was. I was just uh, surviving by making fires next to a rock face. I luckily had a couple of coal on me. Well, not luckily, I had, I had prepared with that in mind, but that was, that was scary. to do something else. So that was uh, one of the closest moments into this run ending, but uh, also uh, kind of a hardest time as well. In this game in general, well, the first first two wins of the runs were kind of kind of hard. I didn't uh, didn't really know what I was doing, but uh, this one this one was okay. Okay, but we will uh, we will go along the river and find our find our cave. Actually, do we do we visit the farm? I will check my notes. I'll check my notes if we if we visit the farm or not. Supplies kind of, kind of short, but then that we are reasonably, reasonably well, uh, well set here. Sure is great ASMR. <laughs> Bob Semel <Samuel> Ross. <laughs> what? I, I haven't I haven't even done any cave art today. Sleep and uh, see what the new new day brings. Making happy little meat carpets. Four, three, two, one, zero. Here, here, like the, we sometimes, sometimes we have a busy chat, sometimes we have a quiet chat, and it's all, it's all cool. We have quite a lot of lurkers, which is, which is great. There's no, there's no pressure to be active on this channel. But if, uh, if someone feels like chatting, I'm, I'm okay with it, and uh, I will uh, most of the time chat back as well. But it's, uh, I'm, I'm okay with quiet. Every now and then. Any of those? No. Do I want some water? We will have another one. That sounds like a blizzard, though, so we will not go anywhere right now. Do 
we do we need to do something else? Activity is mostly why I watch, feels right. Yeah, it's a uh, kind of because, uh, for example, uh, as I've said, as I've said, um, I uh, I watch Twitch from my TV uh, and I, I sometimes open the phone for chat or say hello when I join, but I uh, I don't that often myself uh, chat. I sometimes do, sometimes do, but I uh, I watch I watch a lot, but chat little, like. Relatively, so I uh, I completely understand everyone everyone who does that. But I also understand those who uh, who are on Twitch to uh, chat and uh, do that. And uh, we can have both. Gamble a lot, does that count? Absolutely. Yeah, and also that, like, uh, if I... Uh, that uh, watching on TV, I, I very often, when uh, if I'm playing something off offline, which I actually quite rarely do, but anyway, I have... Uh, when I'm doing something on the computer, uh, including when I'm working, I have the Twitch on the other window, other window, the other, other monitor, and... Um, yeah, I think that's like a, like I compared to uh, compared to nowadays compared to watching anything else from TV or even Netflix, I I just open Twitch. Usually watch on TV. It's working now. I do have an access keyboard. Finally, have a chance to chat <laughs> and get distracted from my work. I guess I could spend a little time and take take some of these down. Listen to the listen to the police if it's uh, Jesus. We are in Pleasant Valley, so that uh, that police might last for a lifetime. Guess we are spending another day here. Wow, that's a long blizzard. <laughs> of course, it goes down when this. Ah, oh, Pleasant Valley. I. I love you, I hate you. No, the blizzard, blizzard doesn't, is not even over. Well, we are not in a rush, we have bear meat. You need to, you need to put your, uh, 
you need to put a duct tape duct tape in your uh, delivery truck and uh, put uh, put a tablet or a phone there to uh, watch while you are driving. But yeah, I I'm super happy I have a I have a computer job. Plus I um, I get I get more done when I have that uh, kind of something there in the background. Something there in the background when uh, when doing work. I feel like I get uh, I get more done. I'm more focused. What? Indestructible toaster. What is this? No, it's actually... I, can, I actually can't touch it. Wow. Wow. That is... That is troll. You can, you can usually get uh, one piece of uh, scrap metal with a hacksaw, but that's a... Uh, that's a troll... Troll toaster. Oh, pancakes. Yes. Nice. Uh, yeah, of course the police had to go. Police had to go south when this. Police had to go south when the when the night ends. Oh, I have a little welcoming meat carpet here on the outside as well. Wolf. Okay, let me check those notes about the farm. And let's see what we do. The Pleasant Valley are here, so I have well, nothing. Nothing I really need at the farm. Yeah, we don't need to go there. We will. We will go to the mountainous hut and into the previous cache. But before that, we will visit. Uh, is the cave? Is it the cave? But uh, would I? I will. I guess I think we could go to the, could go to the cave. So then we would be a little bit closer to uh Closer to um, going to going to Simple Wolf Mountain. So yeah, here we go along the river, and we will hit uh, we will hit the cabins. Uh, I think we can do that. Don't remember if there were wolves on the way. Maybe no. Yes. Yeah, this is good. It's... Okay, it's not even that cold. Like, it's cold, but it's it could be worse. We are in Pleasant Valley, after all. But I had so much energy that if I just started waiting... Waiting, I'd have to wait for... Uh, for a long time. And when we get to the cave, we can uh, check for the moose. I will check my notes if the... When did I get the moose the last time? And I will try to remember to put... Put a note about the bear as well.
the sun is setting. It's gonna get a lot colder soon. There is sometimes a wolf here. Yeah, 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 I remember because I had to hunt the wolf before I hunted the moose. Yeah, it's here. Because the moose is potentially there. Or my my wolf my moose spawn is there in this playful. spawns in this opening. It would be here, but let's see. The cave is there, if I remember. I did leave uh, spray paint there from the other side, but not so much from here. And it's, uh, it's not the easiest cave to spot. You can see it when you are right next to it, but uh, it's not, uh, not the simplest. So I did leave a marker there. I was like, wait a minute, did I did I actually not cook the moose meat? Uh, I guess I didn't. I have some deer hides here, I have some water. I, I guess I, after I cut the moose, I... No! The, some of the meat is there where I, where I killed the moose. I only brought some here. And I think the, I think the wolf just spawned. Sneaky, sneaky wolf. We are on day four, three, two. I was here when it was after Ash Canyon. This must be here, then. Yeah, Ash Canyon, Timberwolf Mountain. So it was uh, 100 and 160 days ago, 170 days ago. So the moose might actually be up, or very likely is up. And then, uh, yeah, the same bear. Okay.
Oh, this music is so good. These wind sounds are not loud. again one of those ready hand I actually forgot to craft one uh, when I used it on after scruffy meat there if uh, if we get actually no but we we have matches we have matches we can now uh, a spare one so I don't have to pass time Been saving matches for 400 days, so time to use them. I think I have like 150 around 12. Come on, little fire. Check for the wolf. But while while waiting for these to cook, let's see if the wolf is there. Maybe it's it's howling from above. Might be a wolf from above, not from that side.
to the hydro economy. There's nothing to do. Drifting away from the meat carpets. I don't, I don't know what I call this, but uh, it's uh, something different. Uh, on vacation today, Archie. Yes, back to back to work tomorrow. So from tomorrow again, uh, the usual usual streaming schedule. Not these not these daytime streams, apart from Saturday. Stream the challenge, challenges one time. I'm um, I'm very very likely not done with the long dark after this. If if that's what you uh, if that's what you mean. So uh, we will take a break from the long dark after this. Uh, hopefully when I get to 500. But we are probably not done with uh, with this uh, or for good. So, uh, since I haven't played the challenges, I plan to play them. I just don't know when. The story mode I will do uh, for YouTube without uh, without the camera. I will uh, like after after I get through this, and uh, as I promised promised myself to do the Princess Maker two and uh, Paradise Killer playthroughs. I will I will do those, but after after those, I will go into like one game at a time mode. So. Um, I will uh, I will stream the Jack the Lions 2 until we finish with that and only that. That's we are basically talking like June, June this year. And then uh, after Jack the Lions 2, I will most likely 
played uh, original XCOM, the UFO enemy unknown, and only played that then. And then we are probably already talking about late July, August, and I'll see what we do after that. There might be some summer summertime challenge again, or special event in the Long Dark, like the Winter's Embrace was last year, so then uh, I might occasionally play the Long Dark and some other games in the meanwhile as well, but we'll see. It's a regular... Regular days will stay the same for now, the Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And then uh, possible extra streams on, uh, on Sundays. No moves. <laughs> this is this is where I was uh, spotting for the moose and uh, by that fire I <laughs> killed the moose. <laughs> but uh, looks like looks like today we are. Uh, I will not not stick around and wait for the moose. We will uh, we will move on. Almost too late. And with that I mean the perfect time. UFO enemy unknown is a scary game. Like uh, games from that era. I'm looking at you, Jack the Lions. They are they are scary games if you play them uh, without uh, or if you try to play in them without saves coming. <laughs> They are scary games indeed. Games were a different breed in the 90s. Like back in the... Back in the 90s, the games didn't care about your feelings. Like games, games nowadays, like, ah, did you die? Well, just say it, just load, it's fine. The, if the enemy is too hard, well, we'll, we'll give the enemy lesser chance to hit you. UFO enemy unknown. Oh, you just landed. You just landed your uh, Sky Ranger here. Well, this this alien alien will uh, shoot a blast at your guys even before you exit your aircraft. Good luck. <laughs> I think anyone who has played uh, UFO enemy unknown or uh, XCOM UFO defense, as it is in the known in the US, like uh, I think. If you if you have not had your squad killed on the on the ramp, you have not played the game because it, it just will happen. Uh, oh, wait a minute, do I, do I want to go here? I never remember. And it's like uh, I I absolutely love the new new XCOM XCOM 2, but uh, com compared to the original originals, 
Like the, the fact that you you activate the board and then you can just take them out before they even get a chance. That is a it it is such a different game. It is such a different game than the original. Just uh, just because of that. Like it's a uh, it's it completely changed the game. And when I when I first saw when I first saw the new XCOM, I was like, uh, I don't know. But then, uh, like most, I learned to love the new mechanic as well. That's uh, it's uh, it's a different game made in a different way. Like you don't need to. Uh, but that's why it's also awesome to go and play the original. Uh, play games like Jack the Lions, where uh, the enemies are there on the map. And they might at any moment kill you. Is it great? Do I lose a lot of mercenaries in Jack Lines 2? Hell yes. But it's uh, it's fantastic. Because the the games like uh, games like that, they they put the fear in you. Like in uh in the new XCOMs, you are like a little bit worried. Oh, well, maybe I will activate additional port. That's your fear. In uh, in original XCOM, in Jack Lions, you are like... Every every time you pass a turn, you are a little bit worried that the uh, enemy will pop up from somewhere and uh, shoot you shoot you that turn. Or same thing with... Uh, oh, look at this. Past me left me a note that remember to check back here because this cave. Thanks, past me. Why is this so dark? Why is this so dark? What is this lighting? It's almost like spucked. Stack overflow Come going past where? two five six in a skill. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, so cold. Pleasant Valley weather. Guess we are not carrying fire away from here then. turn into a police herd and then uh, then I'm not gonna like it. Do I this uh extremely cold and it has a police herd written all over it. Alright redact, take care man, see you again.
have a leave. leave. I will leave the fire here and uh, in the best couple of sticks in it. In case this turns into a blizzard right away when I when I go out, which it might because Pleasant Valley. Watch goes out that was expected. There's a wolf. And there's a deer. Will that wolf go for the deer? No, it's just howling. That was close. <laughs> that was too close. If that wolf would have not howled, it would have seen me and almost immediately attacked me. That was a flare pistol shot saved right there. That was that was indeed close. I have missed. I'm not gonna lie, Kaborka. <laughs> that was probably my best shot I have done with the bow in this game. I've been I've been practicing the long distance shots, but I have not been that good at good with them. Oh, that was good. I don't, I don't make shots. I make shots like that one, one out of ten times. I take the wrong turn. Wolf got me confused. Ah, 
Ah, tiens, Lucas, écoute. It wasn't Pally and this, this part of the map, while I have been here many times, I... The weather is so unpleasant here that uh, I don't spend time here, so then it's kind of a little bit of a... Uh, little bit unsure when uh, going through this that's uh, like am I am I going the right way okay good and I had some gold here crates crates <laughs> thanks thanks for the clip Monagas good name good name for the clip as well Subdued joy. My notes were... My notes were off. Were they off? No. No, 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 they weren't. Quality tools isn't... Uh, Timpa Wolf Mountain. There are two stims here. And teas. And coffee. I do have to sleep before I climb the rope. Even if it's coffee. Uh, I have clothes in Timberwolf Mounds and I think... Oh, let's just look at the notes, I guess I should look again. There, yeah, there is a there's a lot of caves in Pleasant Valley, but uh, that's that's one of the things. Like if you if you are not that familiar with the map, uh, then uh, then you don't know like uh, immediately like which direction to go, where the caves are, especially if you get in bad weather, because that's what's happened to me in the uh, Hashua Valley. Because I wasn't that familiar with that map, I went there to learn the map, but then I got lost twice in a blizzard. I had no idea where the caves were. Or any, anything was, so that was uh, was scary. Mapping would help a lot, but mapping is not easy on uh, on Inza Lover. Get you free, you free so so quickly. What what was I looking? Uh, cloth in. Uh, okay, I have ten there. Okay, good. And I have leather there. I could fix my fix my moose hide when we go there. Real points in me. Well, I, I could take this now. I'll just leave them here. Leave them here, and we could. Especially if I take coffee. Have the crampons. Now, I I don't want to go. I don't want to go and uh, climb. Take too much of a chance with uh, with the rope. Okay, we will be watching the better a little bit. Possibly making fire. Fire outside. Also, also I have, well, I don't know, seven and a half hours. Let's let's keep on going for at least half an hour. Started so think that I should probably call it a call it a day here soon. But 
not just the heads. Okay, the weather got better because the wind went down. I like it. Um, if I got that one other wolf also, then I could even get the meat in here. Now what? I will... Uh, I will start using my matches much more liberally now, as I said. So let's uh, let's do this. Come on, little fire. Very nice. Minus seven with the torch. This is dream weather in the Pleasant Valley. meat. I think I will not even bother with the deer. I'll just get the this meat of these wolves. For a, for a moment, I thought there was something something wrong with uh, with the YouTube upload when you when you said that, demon. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> but yeah, the Deadly Games run is uh, currently being posted on uh, on YouTube. here just in case there's a third wolf I'm freezing. but also to give that a uh, little little temperature bonus Thank you. 
do you limit upload to YouTube while streaming? Uh, uh, I no 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 I I don't well I, actually with my current with my current connection because we got the fiber fiber slash uh, better better cable connection inside the house I could actually upload at the same time I'm uh, I'm streaming but I uh, I upload um, I pre-upload and then I publish them. Because uh, I want to check that they are okay, so I don't like directly, directly put them, uh, put them out like uh, as they are uploading, so they don't happen at the same time. But yeah, with my with my current connection, I could actually upload at the same time because I have uh, 100 megabytes out. Ah, that is interesting. When you have a when you have a torch in hand. Okay. Stupid me, I was pressing the wrong button. Forget what I said. <laughs> or tried to say. Astrid clean the cooking pots? No, it's just uh, because there's no spice in the world. You just uh, you just leave the messes. Get uh, get the flavor from the previous previous uh, char and fat. We make the tea in the same pot, so you get a little bit of that nice rose hips, reishi, birch bark, coffee taste in there if you are lucky. usually do this because it's uh, I like to just like like to just uh, drag the meat there but uh, actually it's a cooking bots do do make the cooking so much faster that's uh, let's use it I 
Feels like night is coming. I think the timing will be really nice for a good night's sleep yeah, after that as well. Away. That's the worst condition pot, so this is the one I carry. So, you know what? Let's, let's start carrying two pots. Why not? I'm not sure I can carry much more. Timing, timing will be right here that we call it, uh, call it today after, uh, after a sleep and then uh, continue tomorrow. Okay, today was today was a good day. Apart from losing the underwear <laughs> and the socks, so I lost lost those when I was fishing in coastal highway. I churned like thirty days today, just there, and now we got the blizzard walker. But the blizzard also destroyed my clothes because I was wearing them. So if you do a long time fishing, long long fishing session wherever that is. The fishing hut does not protect you from blizzard, so get naked and uh, get the get the fire hot. But yeah, let's um, let's sleep. This will give me the save. Save and uh, we call it uh, call it the day there. And uh, more more of the long dark. Okay, four, three, four. Nice. More of the long dark. Um, tomorrow and my regular regular streaming time starts like hour and 15 minutes from where we are now so tuesdays thursdays fridays that time this week uh, the long dark and uh, if you if you're new here uh, do check out my youtube as well and uh, if you like come to come to our discord Discord and uh, if you if you did watch this on a later date on YouTube all the way here, seven hours. Thank you so much, and uh, I will I will see all of you next time. And thanks for the thanks for the hydrate. Let's uh, let's raid someone here in the end.
But yeah, thanks. Thank you so much for hanging out yesterday. Thanks for so. Thank you so much for hanging out today. It was a fantastic last vacation day. Even that I lost my lost my pants or underpants. But uh, it was uh, it was still good. It was still good. 